what this screen is showing is uh, basically what our um, the centre of our Milky Way galaxy actually looks like. Mm -hmm. And you will see, you might have to sort of trick your eyes, and, but you will see a serpent. You'll see a serpent. Right? Eating its own tail. <coughs> So you finish what you were doing just yeah, just just yeah. the fingers across it. From so there's the head of the serpent and it's got its open mouth here and it's receiving the tail. The tail is going in here and here, that V that you can see there. There's the eye of the serpent. And that's what uh, David Flynn is pointing out to when when he's um, showing what's going to happen when the sun aligns with this. The serpent is here, the Ouroboros. Mm. And it is actually the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. Mm. Now this is all there. You can't deny it. Mm. This serpent is there. There it is. Yeah. Uh, and, and Scorpio sits on top of the head of the serpent. And it's the phoenix coming up out of the ashes. Because when our solar system aligns with it, the phoenix comes back out of the ashes. Yeah, it's reborn. Eye. A new see age. Sorry? Yeah, you people see the eye. Yes, you can see the eye. Yes. It's right there. Yeah, and Ophiuchus yeah. is standing <coughs> with one leg. Yeah. With one leg, he's standing on that serpent there, and with the other, he's standing on the head yeah. of Scorpio. What's going on? This is the gospel in the sky. What's it telling us? Well, it's telling us that, that this guy, Ophiuchus and the serpent, sitting on the... On the um, on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because Libra <coughs> Libra sits <coughs> there's there's the true sky that's how it's supposed to be understood there's the virgin the fucus is here in Scorpio and the head of the serpent is is deceiving the woman to partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil good and evil. Now, if we take a look at a um, have you ever noticed the uh, Korean flag? Oh, is that right? Fire, water, water yes. spirit, matter, yes. earth, fire, air, water. Yes. It's science, isn't it? Yes. Um, well, that's what it's telling us here. Spirit and matter. The mother, the father. The spirit, because it's electric, this is positive electricity, negative electricity. They work together. It's a beautiful sexual dance of eternity in the sub ether divided world in which we live, of duality. And there's no use denying it. I don't understand why people are denying it, because it's just, it's science. Yes. <laughs> and the God, the One, He also is the Twelve. The Dodeca is 12. So the one becomes the 12, becomes the two, becomes the three generations thereof, the four polarities of fire, earth, air and water. There are three generations of each. There's a generation of fire in the morning, six o'clock, there's another generation of growth fire, that's birth fire, growth fire, between 2 and 8 in the afternoon, and then at midnight there's no more fire. No fire here, because growth, birth, growth, decay. And the same with air, the air does the same thing. Cardinal, fixed, mutable. The same with water. They're, what that is, those four colours, they're the four elements. And it's showing you that during the year, the sun will produce these 12 different energy vibrations. And you will note them. You will notice them. In, in the morning at 6 o'clock, when the sun comes up over the horizon, that beautiful fire, the angle of light is so strong that all the plants rise up mm -hmm. to greet the sun. Yeah. And the animals... Yeah. chirping and it's yeah. noise and it's cacophony because 
Aries is ruling fire. Fire is being generated to the earth and everything responds. Then what happens at eight o'clock? Bang. The flowers start going like this. Everybody goes and has a cup of tea. Um, we're just sluggish. It's Taurus. It's magnetic. Um, the plants, the animals have gone quiet. Where's the noise? What's happening? Then they start again when mutable air comes at 10 o'clock. Bang, activity again. And this corresponds with our head. We wake up in the morning in our heads. See the body of the man? There's the head in Aries. And it goes right around and the feet are touching the back of the head. Oh, okay. The two, look at the chakras. See how the chakras start going red below the kidneys because the Libra's, the equinox happens in the justice center, the scales of justice, of balance, because the sun passes between 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night and splits it down the middle. Here, longest day, here, shortest day. Death of the sun, climbs the holy mountain, gets enthroned as Ra, and then gets betrayed. Father, Father, why have you betrayed me? Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. And here, the sun, when it crosses here, it says, it is finished, because they give Jesus a sop of vinegar, and vinegar is the end of the wine season, and September is always the wine. So when the sun crosses here, he says, it is finished. That's the last words of Jesus. So you see that cycle, which I'm going to go into later. That's the story that I'm going into, but it comes from, voila, this. Now, that's powerful, that. I can see it. Now. What happens when you go to a... Um, have, can you all see that? Because it's clear, isn't it? I don't want you to miss this. It's, and you can see David Flynn. He's a genius um, about his work. I got a lot from him. Um, I learned quite a bit about the solar system. There's the snake eating its tail. It's everywhere in our culture. Who's David Flynn? He's, uh, he's took that photo, did he? Oh. He made that TV uh, Are you seeing that okay? Yeah, now. Okay. I'm very sorry about this because I haven't had time to organise this uh, or um, organise a better way of doing things. Uh, that's in the apple, the pentagram, pentagon. Uh, here he ex is explaining, remember what I said about Polaris before? Polaris is on the, because our axis is pointing to it. Yeah, yeah. See, true north is here. So, it's, that is the closest star to true north that there is. But these other stars, Vega, and the constellation of drag, dr the dragon occupies two-thirds of the whole circle. That's why when revelations talk about uh, the dragon that drags a third of God's angels, it's talking about the throne of God in the heavens. This is the throne. And Cephas has got his foot on Polaris and he's saying, Hey man, I'm the king. And you, dragon, you wait your turn. Because in procession, I'm ruling now. It's the age of Pisces. And then when the Bible says that there's that Jesus shall reign for a thousand years. Well, that's the thousand years left over of the Aquarian part. Yeah. The two thousand years of Pisces has already been done. Then that's why they say, no, Jesus will return. Because that was the first return of Jesus, Cephas, with his foot on Polaris. Yeah. The second return is when Aquarius changes the nature of thing, <coughs> things from water Pisces to air. We go up here in the head rather than emotional water people being baptised with water. That's why Christians baptise with water. Why don't they baptise with spirit and fire? Like the Bible says, uh, spirit is air, uh, that's what it's called, and fire is because they don't <coughs> raise the kundalini and raise and get those wheels, chakras spinning because that's the... the Aries, after we pierce the heart chakra, and we go to the blue. Air and fire. That's why at Pentecost, the fires that were speaking, and they were speaking in tongues, they had mm. tongues of fire on their head. Mm. That's the pineal gland, the glowing. <coughs> That's what it is. So there's Polaris. He's ruling. There's the Ouroboros. Just Beautiful. It's nice to have your head in the tail. You can the And there's, there's the um, equinox in the sky between Taurus and Gemini and Scorpio and Sagittarius, which we have on the board, okay? So that's where it crosses. See, so that's the galactic plane, and this is the ecliptic, okay? You yes. good with that? Yep. Let's proceed. There's a lot in this. There it is there, the eagle, the man, the bull, 
And the lion, the fixed points, that's the, the divine cross in the sky. And there are the animals. And we go around 6,000 years in each age. And our age begins in Gemini, when, when the twins were in the Garden of Eden. Okay? That's how it works. <laughs> And again, we see here what he's done. I think I love what he's done here at the seventh minute when I find it. This is beautiful. Have a look at this. There it is. Sagittari Capricorn. Sagittarius Scorpio reaching out to the scales. And there's the serpent. And the serpent is swallowing this activity. It's in the middle of it. And it's the serpent of the Garden of Eden, because this is where the phoenix is. Remember, a fucus comes out of here, and he's got his head on here, and he's got his head on, the, the foot on here, and the foot on, the, on Scorpio. He's sitting right here, a fucus, and Hercules is above him. And the serpent was facing Libra. Now, I want to go back to this, Remember we saw this picture before? That's how this program Sky Survey presents, th that's how it presents, the first page that it presents to show you all the, um, the ecliptic and all the constellations in the sky. And when you click on information, well there you have Scorpio and there's Sagittarius. And why? Well, because they've picked the center of the Milky Way galaxy, okay? Yes, and, and you can follow the ecliptic and you can find where all the planets are. For instance, if we go over here to Pisces, that planet there is Uranus. There's Uranus there. And it shows you because Jupiter's there because that is the ecliptic. That's the path that the wanderers travel. That's the path that the sun travels. Let's find the sun. It's awesome. It is awesome. Is it when you've got all your funnier like that and simplified with the chart? And this is the gospel of the sky. Mm. These are the four Vedas. There's the sun in Taurus. Yeah. No, actually, it, it's not. It's in Gemini. Remember, procession has gone out of whack yeah. 30 degrees. Yeah. So physically, they're showing you that the sun is right in the middle of Taurus. But it's not in the calendar. It's in Gemini. We are in Gemini now. So, but I can't get that down. And there's Gemini. So it's 30 degrees shifted. But I will show you that that does not affect astrology because it does not depend on the stars. They're just pictures there to remind you. That's just a story. The influences do not come from the stars. It comes from the sun. Everything comes from our Son and Saviour, Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs> it's beautiful when you know what it means, isn't it? It's not that scary church stuff anymore. It makes sense. Nostradamus, this is a good uh, little doco. Um, and showing the eight spoke wheel. A fucus, Sagittarius, Scorpio. What's the wheel? Is it David Flynn again, is it? No, this is on the History Channel. Um, this, what he's showing is the eight-spoke wheel. This gentleman is explaining the eight-spoke wheel, you see. The, the, the ecliptic, there's, there's the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. Yep. They're pointing to it, and people don't believe in astrology. Well, what are they, you know, or astronomy, or... They're there. So he's, he's going to show how the eight-cross wheel works. There's the eight-spoke wheel. That's what's going to happen in 2012. It happens only once in 24,000 years. December the 21st. Yes. We are living in such privileged and blessed isn't it? days. Isn't it? Blessed. We are seeing these things. And why aren't the governments of the world preparing? There it is. That's the equator of the Milky Way galaxy. That's the ecliptic because Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Virgo, uh, that's where the sun journeys. Mm -hmm. And it's going to cross with our solstices and equinoxes. Mm -hmm. That's the solstice, that's the equinox. And that's what we get. And that is the eight-spoke wheel that Nostradamus was talking about. Let us proceed, because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> All right? That ain't true. It is brilliant, and I thought I would take 
extra effort to send that to George. We can thank George because I said, Would you, can we do this and show people? Because seeing that strengthens what I'm saying. Okay? Thank now. Thank you, George. Thanks, George. Yes, thank oh, you. Do you want to see the crop circle too? Hey? No, please. Oh, please, can you do that, if yes. you don't mind? Yeah. Crop circle? Yes. Because I was... Morning. So... Um, you'll have to do it, mate. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to change my tape. Okay. So you see, guys, um, this is the beautiful thing that's in the Bible. The serpent that talks to the woman, Virgo, and says, eat of the tree. It's just the sun going through Virgo, and it seems that she's betrayed him somehow to the scales. How dare that woman? <laughs> you know, because the sun was, was, was in, his, in his royal kingdom. In the, in the beautiful six signs of spring and summer. And then there's the woman and she's the last one. Dang! <laughs> I've got to go down into hell. And so, and that happens in this area. And that's the story it's telling. If you eat from this tree in the day in which you eat from it, you will positively die. And they did. Because that death is below on the very day. Because when you go through the equator on September the 21st, you're now into the the other realm, the other half, you walk through the mirror, you're doing the reverse of what came the six months before. And if we start seeing these cycles, we'll realise that it's, they're happening every day in fractals, through our body and through everything we do. We're going from electric to magnetic, electric to magnetic all the time, and it's a beautiful dance. And that's what you are, vibration, electricity. So now, so you oh, yes. before the break, you said something about not having to eat meat. Yes. Um, is that part of what we have to do? I'm going to go into that. I've got... Um, I want to read to you, to encourage you only, not condemn you, if you need to eat meat and what have you, that's your business, but I'm going to read to you from my favourite philosophers, Seneca, Porphyry, Plutarch, Pythagoras. And I want to speak from their minds and you will see some beautiful reasons why you should never eat the flesh of animals. What's that Not from me, mm. from these beautiful men. And yeah. just, that's just four of them. But what I was trying to get to was, it's, is there a preparation period for us to experience this... The result of not eating meat? Well, so, you know, lots of other areas of our lives have to do with meat, but preparation of us to do with the whole host of... Oh, God. Yes, that's part of it. Another part of this preparation would be your meditation and yoga. Okay? Very important. Um, another part of it is focusing on, on the virtues and the ethics, because there's ethics in all of this. This is an ethical story. This is virtue. It's telling you that you suffer in winter, and, you, and, and all these characters, Hercules sits up here, they're all called the one who is coming. There's about ten. There are about ten heroes up here. Awesome stuff. There's Perseus in Aries. There's um, Hercules. There's there's Draco. There's all these beautiful characters, and they, they keep coming because it's a cycle, and that's why Jesus is coming. He had his first coming. Now we're waiting for his second one. He's coming in the clouds. Well, that's where the sun comes. That's Jesus. J E S. Yes, sun rising, sun setting, is the sun, positive, fire. And that's why we say yes. And that's where the year comes from. Because the yes... Did you want to do the crop circle? Or um, yeah, alright. Uh, can I just finish this and then... Uh, where's my folder? Good. <laughs> Comets, asteroids, and the moon. Have you got any relevance to this? Comets and asteroids, they ever get into any of this stuff, or are they just not relevant much? And the moon? Oh, there is. <laughs> there is, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, Halley's Comet, for example, and you know, asteroids and the moon. So they got. Oh, well, we'll get to that, because I'm, I'm going to. Um, some people wonder, well, how do you suppose that <laughs> the sun is yes? Because I, I talk to churchgoers. <laughs> and they just say, well, well, you're telling me that's the sun 
and there are 48 of these, 48. 24 and 24, the 24 elders that stand around the throne of God, because it's electromagnetism, they're telling you the Freemasons and the Catholics, this is Catholic, I-E-S, because it's Greek, the, the H is Greek, it's Eta, Eta, it's I-E-S, I-E-S becomes J-E-S, it's all fire, it's the sun, fire, Helios, the sun, the sun, the sun, the holy sun, blessed saviour. And the Jehovah's Witnesses, do you think, a lot of people think, oh yeah, but the Jehovah's Witnesses, because I was one for four years. Well, 20 years. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, let me get that right. Uh, I was baptised a Catholic. My mum became a witness after hearing that God's name is Jehovah uh, in, when I was two years old. So then she brought me up as a, as a witness. Then I denied that God existed and everything at, at teenage years and did the chasing the girls and, and all that <laughs> stuff, left it all behind, and then came back in my later teens. Worse. Got baptized. Worse. <laughs> Got baptized at 21. So that explains the 40 and the 20 years. So it's 20 years active as a, an adult, baptized twice. But uh, just so that they don't say, "Oh yeah, but that's the Catholics." Um, you know, they do these subtle things that most witnesses would never pick in church, would they? Jehovah, the one who is vigorous in power. Vigorous. Uh, anyway. Um, so we have yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Who's responsible for the cycle of the year? It's the yes, just like month is the moon, isn't it? And minutes from the moon, hour, hour is, well, that's got to be Horace. Come on. Yeah, they can't hide it. <laughs> it's Horus. Horizon, horoscope. It's the sun. Who's on the horizon? What hour is it? Where's Horus? He's at 12.30. Oh. See, they can't hide it. Ministers, they're trying to hide that they're from, their religion is from the stars. Um, a minister, can you te teach me about this star, there's moon? Uh, or pastor, uh, you think you can teach me about God, <laughs> Jesus? Yes, certainly. Jesus means the sun, if they were honest. Elder. El. You saw it? Elios. Elohim. Because the Elohim are the sun and his six little helpers, Snow White and seven dwarves. <laughs> it's, all, it's all the one story. So, let us progress now, and we've explained... <laughs> let us pray, brother. Well, this is a prayer. This is meditation. Knowledge, commune. That's how it works. Wherever, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there my spirit shall be with me. <laughs> All right, speaking about past lives, why did they take the, uh, the truth about incarnation of the, of the spirit in flesh? Why did they take it out of the Bible? Justinian did it in the year uh, 500 and in the 540s, because his wife was Rome's best whore. He married her and now she's an elite and she doesn't want the slaves of Rome to know that in the Bible it talks about reincarnation and they took it out. Just Google it. Yep. Google it. Justinian. All right? The one that built the, built the uh, temple in Turkey to uh, Sophia. The beautiful, um, what's that temple called? It's one of the greatest... Uh, Sophia? Something of, is it, is it something of Sophia? Yes, it is. It, it has Sophia in it. Um, in Istan Istanbul, you can... They, Mate, they receive Sophia something. millions of tourists Sophia every year. Uh, no, what's it called? The Great Temple in Turkey. Justinian built it. Great, very good. Yeah, anyway, it's there. Uh, just want to read you something about incarnation, then we'll do the crop circle. Sorry, mate. Uh, so, 
here is what happens after you die of it. Right? Is in the in the uh, 15th book and it's under the heading of the teachings of Pythagoras. I'm going to read also from here about vegetarianism because he was a vegetarian. Did you, did you read that other bit of vegetarianism? No, I'm going to and I'm going to read out of here but I just thought I might add this now before we go into the crop circles and into part two of all this. Uh, that's under Pythagoras and he says, here is what happens after you die. Your body, whether consumed on the pyre, Pyre is fire, isn't oh, it? Yes. Yeah. And also, pure comes from that word. That's why you purify yes. with fire. And that's why we need to be baptised with fire, because well, we must be pure. Well, the sun sterilises things too. When you, you know, you've got kids, nappies, they teach in school, mm. go and hang your nappies mm. on the line, the sun will sterilise mm. them. It doesn't matter if The sun is very pure. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Sorry. Yes. No, no, don't be sorry. That's true. That's, I love that hearing stuff like that. It's true. Yeah, yeah. No, Eight sure. minutes it takes for the photons and the fast ones to get here. The slower ones are nine minutes, ten minutes, but every day he is sending those photons to us. Mm. And th that is our saviour. It, it's our saviour. Because it's not just a physical sun, there are three suns. As um, Julian says in the orations to the sun, the emperor, there are three suns. It's the physical, the psychic or the soul of the sun and the spirit of the sun. Mithra. Mithra, the same. Mm. Ahura Mazda, the same. Mm. It was Krishna, Brahma, Shiva, Krishna, mm. Vishnu. Mm. There's always four aspects or three aspects mm. of the sun. That sun in the sky, Jesus, is also the archangel Michael. Michael, who is un like unto God. Anything that ends with L, Raphael, L, it's the Elohim. Raphael is, is uh, Gabriel is the moon. And you're going to see that in the Gospels next, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, so that's Michael in the Jewish, Jesus in the Christian. Yes, Krishna, yes, Krishna in the Hindu. But it is the physical body of the creature. It's a creature that comes from the ether, just like we do, a higher order. We will be stars one day, like Michael. <laughs> he has a soul, a psychic field. We're living in the psychic field of the sun. We are in the sun, mm -hmm. our Father, mm -hmm. the Christ. And we are communicating by means of his consciousness network mm -hmm. and the earths. But we have to leave the earths. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful mother, but we've got to get the solar consciousness. Mm -hmm. We must become true Christians. You see? Yeah. That's what it means. Sunday. Not in the churches that are no. dishing out the McDonald's food. <laughs> Not there. They can't. They, they're, they're there to trick us from this. Yeah. There's always a salesman on every corner. And that's why when our souls transmigrated to the earth, we were warned. And I'm going to show you from Hermes. We were warned. Don't be deceived by the priests. That McDonald's is an Aries. Yes, it is. Anyway, Ovid. So, <laughs> see, he's a Libran, like my son. And the Librans are always against. I'm not against. Opposite uh, yeah, each yeah. other. Here we are, Paul. They are, Taurus is opposite Scorpio. They are their opposites. When I see, sometimes I pick Librans for Arians and Arians for Librans because they have the mirror image energy. Where are Aries and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can feel, I can actually feel the, the balanced energy between the two of you, that it's similar. And just see it. You can feel it. It's psychic. It's psychic. And that's what the sun does. The warmth of the sun, that's the psychic light of the sun. The light is in the middle. It's in the middle of the God and the nature. The lights are there as the middle of the ether and the other parts underneath, the water and the earth, the feminine parts. So he's in the middle, you see. Uh, like on my chart, it is at the top, and then the, the feminine earth is at the bottom. Mm. The fire is in the middle place, mm. and it is the intellect and the, the spirit which, which teaches us mm. because it activates our eyes. Without the sun, we can't see all these objects to, to know what they're mm. like, mm. how they feel, and how they work. Mm. And we can't, without that, we can't see the stars and, and get to know them. So, 
Whether consumed on the pyre or slowly decaying, suffers no evil. Souls cannot perish. And always on leaving their prior abodes, they come to new ones, living on, dwelling again in receptive bodies. See, he's got no, no other reason, no reason other than to say the truth. Whereas the, the priestcraft don't want you to know this. This is Ovid. If you know who Ovid is, you know that this, this has got to be one of the top ten classics of all time. He lived in the time of Caesar Augustus. He mentions Augustus. But Ovid is one of the great Roman classics like Cicero and Virgil and Livy and Okay, so, but, and then he goes, um, so you cannot die. In the time of the Trojan War, I remember quite well that I was pun thi Oh, my eyes, it's, I've highlighted it, so it's purple of all colours. <laughs> Pantheus, Pantheus' son, Ephorbus and wounded once in the breast by a spear cast by Lord Menelaus. So he was obviously a Turk, oh, Menelaus, sure. Greek. Recently, get this, this is amazing. Recently, while in the temple of Juno on Argos, I recognised the shield that I bore on my left arm. Which is? Right. Well, well, he's recognized, he went to the museum last and he yes, saw it and he goes, that was my, my, my last, last, last yeah, life. Yeah. Because our souls, we have been various characters in yeah. the past. Various. But it's not like a linear reincarnation. It's like our dream higher consciousness that lives in unconditioned consciousness chooses to have material experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And have a separate dream. So you, you may have been queen... Helen of Troy, yes. you know. Not that it's, um, remember I said before that all Troy happened up here. Yes. Well, what is he talking about then? Is, is, is he talking about a real physical Troy? Well, well, yes, he is too. Because Troy on earth is the same as Troy in the heavens, like Lon uh, London Caster and Manchester were. Okay. Anyway, we'll get back to that. Isn't that good? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Just a, that's what Jesus said. Lift your eyes and see that the harvest is ready. And when I come into my kingdom... Harvest of souls? <coughs> well, it's a harvesting of souls, yes. The ready ones, though. The 144,000. The ones... Well, that's, it's, it's a... It's a... Um, it's the temple, the new Jerusalem. It's a new consciousness. Mm. The ones that fit into it. They will be priests with priests and kings, meaning that they will be uh, astral. Mm. They won't be attached to physical life anymore. So, the ones who aren't ready just have to keep mm. doing well, their. Everyone wakes up in their own time. Exactly. Uh, yes. There's and um, everybody. The ones who don't get harvested um, for the higher path just eventually do. No one's lost. Eventually. No one is lost. God is, God loves all of His atoms. All the entangled particles that are out there shall be saved and redeemed. But um, when Jesus comes into, when the Son of Man, you see, the Son of Man is, He's the only Man in the zodiac. The Son of Man, when the Age of Aquarius comes, He's saying, this is Jesus speaking. When the Son of Man comes into His kingdom in His glory. He shall sit down on his throne and judge the sheep and the goats. The sheep and the goats. Cardinal, uh, uh, Capricorn, the goat, is in charge of the solstice. The sheep are in charge of the equinoxes. And he's sitting in the middle of them. One on his right hand and one on his left. And I shall judge them. It's all in the stars. All of it. But it doesn't mean that some parts of this story weren't embraced by Amenhotep or Akhenaten or Julius Caesar and they all tried to make themselves the hero Hercules. So in fact there was a Herod in history. When we read about Herod the Great and, and Herod, the counterparts are there on earth too because everybody wants to call themselves after the sun. Cyrus the Great, wouldn't that be 
Osiris? Mm. Hmm. Uh, Ramses? Wouldn't that be Ra? Akhenaten? Aten, the sun? The sun? The sun? Osiris, the sun, in winter, down the bottom on December 21st, he's Saturn because he's, he's got Capricorn and Aquarius and he rules the underworld, Osiris, but it's still the sun. It's just it's a magnetic sun. The light is different coming from, mm. from the sun than the sun in summer, which is Ra, mm. who radiates the rays, Roy, royal, the sun. He has different names. But he's always in there. So, who's that? Cyrus the Great, Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon the Great. Have I spoken that wrong? No. No. Um, Na Polo. The one from the Polo. Just like Jesus of Na. Na. Za. Is Jesus Na from. Na Seer Cyrus Sirius That's where we come from, we're Syrian mm -hmm. Sirius is our sister star mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. is the little child of Sirius Osiris mm -hmm. name, name, some, name some, some of the heroes Some of the great rulers Have a, have a go and you'll see that they're all the sun see. Try it Elizabeth the Great, L, the sun. Louis, L, Louis, yeah. L, the sun. Julius Caesar, Jew, Jew comes from Yule. Yule is the circle. That's so, why you have the Yule log on Christmas Eve, because it's on Christmas Eve, on the 25th of December, the Yule is finished. Well, I think it's gone. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say, if it's not, it'll be one of the seven. It'll be Mercury. But these these are actual people that you're talking about. Yes. Napoleon was an actual person. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you're saying that his parents knew, they called him Na Apollo. Right. Go on. Yeah. Keep going. Man. Yeah. And then somehow he ended up the general. I, I don't no. know that. No. Don't what I'm not. saying is that. When you study the names of the man and the woman in history, you will find that 60% of the names go back to the sun or Mercury, oh, Saturn, yeah. Venus. It's, yeah. it's all out. That's okay. it. Yeah. There's no other names. Yeah. Robert. Yes. In fact, I'll give you a whole list of names, and you're going to just your, your jaw is going to drop. This is all the sun. Yeah. Dennis, Anthony, Thomas, John, oh. Michael, Emmanuel. Jesse, Joshua, Jesse. Joseph, Bell, Bo, Leanne, Helen, Raymond, Samuel, Jacob, Paul, Peter, Joel, Gabriel, David, Lewis, Elizabeth, Don, William, Seth, Elaine, Selena, Ellen, Phoebe, Rupert, Kent, Clara, Robert, Bertha, Simon, Mona. Well, Mona is so there's four Mona is Ammon backwards. It's all, it's all the same. So that was like three, three names. Three 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 all female names yes. in that whole list. Leanne, daughter of the sun. Okay. Helen, the moon, the moon, which is the sun's child, wife. So it's still the sun. Remember, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebu, or Nebo is Mercury, god of merchandise, of the caduceus, hmm. with a winged caduceus. And the dollar sign, merchant, merchant, mm. Mercury, Nebo, Moses, Hermes, Toth, mm. David. David comes from Toth, which is Toth in Egypt, Egyptian, Egyptian, Nebo. Well, uh, <coughs> mm. so what I'm saying about these, these of course, Cyrus is the great. Is going, he's not going to have a doofus name like, you know. Uh, well, the Indians said fighting bull, you know. Wise eagle. They didn't say, oh, piece of trash, mouse. They were, none of these names are going to be 
under the sun <laughs> in glory. The sun is the hero. Mm. It's the saviour. And when you see it like that as science, mm. then you see where the religion got it wrong. Mm. It's just science and you can delight in the fact that it's all just knowledge. Mm. Cyrus the Great, Julius, Augustus, Caesar, um, Napoleon, Jesus of Nazareth, I've already explained that, Ramses, Akhenaten, Amenhotep, Amun, Set, the father of Ramses the Great, Seti, the sun, when the sun sets. Khufu, the pyramid builder, Knum Khufu was his name, the sun. His son, the second pyramid, Kafra, Ra. His son, Menkara, Ra. Henry, Henry the Great, Henri, that's the sun. Enwa, Wa is king, Ra, the sun. Yeah. All right, so, um, uh, right, let's, have a, let's do the story. This is a beautiful story coming up, guys, and I'm sure you're going to love it. You've got your black pen. I've got the black. <laughs> this is the gospel. There is the equator. And that's the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. All right. So we've got I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're really uh, concentrating and it's a great talk. It's a great talk. It can be tiring. It's a lot of information. It's a great talk. Eh? Oh, thanks. I'd hate for you to be bored. Please no. <laughs> throw in some questions if you want or something. But, uh, when you have a wee with your radio mic on, I'm never bored. Just, just, just one. One question. Yeah, go. It's then, right. Oh, that's that's all the Zyrene just fit into the sun. Zyrene means pure, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or, or peaceful, actually. Peaceful means. Mm. Peaceful, that's still good. It's a new <laughs> Peaceful. It means peace in the any, it Peace. Pure is Agatha, isn't it? Or good. That's Agatha is good. Somebody told me the other day it was love. Irene. I think it's peace. It might be. Anyway, so there is the cross. Now, if you've done your astrology like good, good um, students, you will know that the Earth, the symbol for the Earth, is that. Interesting. Hold it for a second longer. The Earth. Yep. Take note of the Sun. Target. 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 Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you all the corporate logos yeah. that have to do with the sun. sun. Put it this way: ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of them. It's all the sun. Yes. Okay. Even the the Union Jack, the English Union Jack. This is Korean. The yeah. Union Jack is exactly the same thing. It's really? the crisscrossing of the sun. Yeah. In the middle is the obelisk, the sundial, solstice, solstice. Equinox, solstice, solstice, 47 degrees, yeah. and that's on the... Jack is Jacob, the sun. It's a British flag. It's not English. British is a Jewish word for children of the covenant. They're the Jews. They are the Jews. Well, that's the spiritual Israel. There's a fucus. Wow. There he is, standing on the sleeper. Yes. Doing his job. And the scales, the head of the serpent, are right there near the scales, because Virgo goes up this way, and the head of the serpent is there near the scales, seducing the woman, saying, Psst. go through the equinox. <laughs> try, try some good and evil. Come on, woman. And the Virgo just goes down. But it has to. Goes crashing down into the land of Egypt, because, as Manly P. Hall says in this book, Um, he does, he does, 
I just had <laughs> now I <choose> <laughs> two of them. <laughs> so one's changed. I know I got this right because I was going to share this with you. I knew I'd, I'd get to that because the red, the red, everything is red down here because the part of the body from the kidneys downward was called by the early Kabbalists the land of Egypt. The land of Egypt. So when the virgin is pursued by the red dragon, the red star is here. And, and she flees down into Egypt to save her son. She can't help but go down. So Ophiuchus is just doing his job, bringing the sun down into the, the land of evil. There's the, if you have a, a long lapse, time lapse camera and you face it north, that's the stars, what it will look like. So the zodiac will be down here. And 30 degrees from that true north is what's called the throne of God. And there is Cephas with his foot on Polaris. He's got his foot on that. He's standing on the throne of God. And Polaris is the closest star to the true north. And it's been there for 2,000 years and will be for another 1,000 years. And that's why... When you go to Rome and England and you see those beautiful domes, they're just telling you that's the throne of God. Mm. This is the throne of God. They are the stars that never set. They never set. Oh, can you see any setting there? I don't see any stars setting there. No. That's 24 hours. Mm. But the zodiac sets over the horizon. Dang! Mm. But the northern stars, just like our southern cross, it's always doing a, scribing a circle. Yeah. Right? Mm. That's the throne of God. And when the dragon occupies, there's Alpha Draconis, Gamma Draconis, and all these stars that sit on the throne over a period of about 8,000 years. Once that dragon gets off that pole star, pole position, he's out of there. And down the great dragon was hurled, and a third of the angels with him. Huh. It's in Revelation. Mm. Okay. So there's your thing. Um, your um, Mount Zion. So what we learn from this, the reason I'm showing you those northern stars is that the throne of God is up there in the north, but it's also the zodiac. Because the woman, Ursa Major, who wants to put Polaris on the throne, is also the woman here, the virgin, who occupies pretty much prime position. This is mid, pretty much mid, midsummer. This is a glorious season, Virgo. These are the summer green months. Hell is red. Does anyone know what the Latin word for hell is? Peep. No. Peep. Inverno. Inverno. Yes. Exactly. Now you're thinking like you're supposed to be thinking. Now you'll see what's going on. Yeah. So if inverno is down here, mm. well then hell is not hot, it's cold. Mm. Because that's where inferno Return. is. Yeah. Mm. The infer. Underground, <laughs> under the sea. Because this equator, yeah. that's the equator. And when the sun is above, you have longer days, yeah. shorter nights. Mm -hmm. We want some of that to grow the pineapples and the bananas mm -hmm. and so that we can live. And here the shorter days, longer nights, from that point on, is no good. That's why Jesus, when he gets crucified, he is crucified between two thieves. These are also called thieves. That's the good one, because when the sun goes through him on the 21st of March, the longer days begin. Mm. And Taurus tells you, fix earth. Plow. The virgin tells you to harvest. And that's the wine season. When the sun turns water into wine, Jesus turns water into wine every year. When the sun crosses this point, he says, it is finished. Mm. The year is finished. Because it comes from the Egyptian tradition. The priest would stand on the temple after the wine season. Beautiful wine. Very nice. A couple of months, or a couple of squeezes later. Good wine. Yeah. After a few squeezes, it's like, ooh, ah, it's vinegar. That's Jesus tasting. That's the sun 
tasting the wine around about here. And then the priest says, oh, it's ready to go. It's finished. So he raises his glass in Egypt, in the temple, at Amun, uh, at uh, Thebes or Luxor, or, uh, even Amana, Memphis, wherever. The priesthood was all over the place in the divided kingdom. And by the way, that's the divided kingdom of Israel. That's where it comes from. Israel and Samaria, Judah and, um, and uh, Ephraim. That's where it comes from. And he would say it is finished, because the year is finished. So, these red months um, are Egypt, and it's below the kidneys, the land of Egypt. Now, what we have here is Aries, Taurus, Gemini, spring. The land of God that takes away the sin of the world because the, the sun has finally crossed over and forgiven us for the sins. That's Jesus, which is the Lamb of God. Here the fish, he's the fisherman of men. Here Aquarius, the son of man. Here he is the rock, because Osiris Orion is in here. Remember, there's always, there's always three other constellations, and the prominent one in Taurus is Orion. He's killing the bull. Orion is Osiris. And he's got three belts. Dunk, dunk. The three stars in his belt, yeah. and they point up to Sirius, which is in Cancer. They do. Brightest star in the sky. They point straight to it. And that is the star that sits over the manger where Jesus is born every year on the 25th of December. Manger, because there's a cluster of stars called the beehive, or, well, the honey, or the manger. That's the beehive. It's in Cancer. Near Sirius. And that's why if the star comes up to here every year on the 25th of December, that's the sky you see. Is that's that Bethlehem as well? Yes. Yes, Bethlehem is here. This is Bethlehem. The house of bread. Yeah. yeah. Which is a different constellation. Because Virgo's bread. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So here's the rock. Here is the twin. Here is in Capricorn is the, the scapegoat of Israel. These are all descriptions of Jesus. Mm. Here is the line of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> Here's the unicorn of the scarab. Mm. Here is the virgin. We know he's a virgin. Mm. What about Mary Magdalene? <laughs> Maybe not. But his mother was a virgin. <laughs> and he is called the bread of life. That's the bread of life. The sign of the bread. So the, fem the female cuts off that. The female was responsible for chopping off the positive electricity and beginning another polarity of positive electricity, which is air. Fire is the source of the positive polarity. There are four polarities. One, two, three, four. And that's what Russell talks about. He says there are not two polarities of positive and negativity. There are four. There are four. And that explains it. This explains everything. It really does explain everything. When I say that, I run the risk of people going, oh, how arrogant and presumptuous and how... I do run the risk of that, but I can't... If you know what I know, and I haven't scratched the surface here, you will know that this explains everything. This is the tarot, the Torah, this is Kabbalah, this is... Oh, God, it's everything. Yeah. There's no system that it doesn't embrace, because it, it is the blueprint. Yeah. So what's the way it's to awesome. explain the it four is. polarities in a general term, or what's another way to explain it? Uh, two positives and two negatives, yeah. they are. That's what they are. One is electric, one is positive, one is magnetic, one is described as uh, uh, negative. How about you? Magnetic, negative. Oh, oh, oh electric, magnetic. All right, no worries. <laughs> you're, saying, you're saying electric, mag electric, negative, magnetic, negative, and then the positive of both. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. One, there are two kinds of, there are two electric. There, there are two electric and two magnetic pol uh, polarities. And you know what they are? Earth, fire, and air, and water. Hello. Mm. See? Because the air 
the air, remember Aries is the head, right? Mm -hmm. Cardinal fire. Pisces is the feet, mutable water. Mm -hmm. So water is attached to earth mm -hmm. and air, uh, fire is in the air. Mm -hmm. So we are batteries, mm -hmm. we, we are magnets mm -hmm. and we're, we're up, we're not walking on, that, on our feet for mm -hmm. you know, no reason. It's, mm -hmm. it, and that's why Pisces is there. It's all science. Mm -hmm. It's known that the body has these 12 segments in it. Mm -hmm. So when, um, are you rolling, eh? Yes, it's okay. rolling. It's rolling. You've got two minutes. So when um, the Israelites are passing through the Red Sea, mm. well, it's talking about our bodies passing through the red blood. Our red blood is very special. That's where our soul is. It's in the blood. And it's the Red Sea. There's no difference between salt sea water and blood in the in chemically in the so laboratory. That's, that's really interesting. Monotomy is gold or the white gold if it comes from seawater, it's not heat treated. David Judd talking about a healthy blood cell and how it vibes, how it looks under the microscope, if yeah. it's healthy, as opposed to one that's bombarded with garbage. Anyway, yeah. sorry, I don't mean to detract. No, no, it's, it's all good. It's all good. So the body of the man the body of the man and the woman, please don't <laughs> take this as man. Body of a human. Human, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm just using the man because that's how yes. Ptolemy and every classic. Right? Yes. Yeah, I but <laughs> please understand, I'm not. By the way, um, remember the sine wave before? There, yeah. there it is. Yes. So it goes through the ki liver, the kidneys. Yes. Um, so when we uh, traveling through the Red Sea, it means we're walking through blood. Mm. We're having a blood experience, mm. and water, mm. water is mm. feminine. It's blood. We are seventy percent water. Mm. So uh, that's in, that's that is one sense of the Israelites going through the Red Sea. The other sense is, well, I'm Aryan, you're Libran. We've got um, Taurian, Pisceans here. Mm. We're the twelve tribes of Israel. Mm. <laughs> right here. Yeah. yeah. These well, are the twelve. These are the. Yeah. We are the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah. One, two, because spiritually we come from from that. That's our. Um, that's what the stars have set us at. I've been setting in, in um, on the 24th of March. I've been setting Aries. Mm -hmm. My moon is here, and my ascendant is here. So I've got two fire. So my sun is in the head. Mm -hmm. My moon is in my feet, and my ascendant is in the heart. I guess. Put it that way. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to know your birth chart. Where yes. are your planets? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got Saturn in Aquarius in machines with Venus. Mm -hmm. um, I've got the moon in Pisces and Jupiter, mm -hmm. and that's his natural home, Pisces. Mm -hmm. So this guy here, Firmicus Maternus, says that if you have m more than one planet in his natural home, you're really, really blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just read that while I'm here. More than one planet in his natural yeah, home. well, I've got Jupiter in, in Pisces. So Jupiter rules Pisces. Oh, let me read it. This too we should know, that an average chart is that which has a single planet on its own sign, located in an important house of the chart. The man who has a chart with two planets, each in its own sign, is blessed with moderately good fortune. Fortunate and powerful beyond the usual is the one who has three. Tom Cruise, I'll show you his birth chart, he has three planets in their own home. He's got Mercury in, in Gemini, He's got Saturn in Aquarius like I have, because he's my age. Saturn was there for 12 years. Uh, and he's got Jupiter in Pisces. So if you don't have three, you just put it in mediocre. <laughs> well, the, this is how the, the planets bless us. These are our, what they call the stars. Oh, it's a blessed or unblessed. stars. <laughs> you wonder sometimes how some people get... What It's either blessed or unblessed. It's like, yeah, Tom Cruise is blessed. Well, what about um, severely handicapped people and mongoloid people that come into this world? Do, do they just go, dang, I didn't get, to, you know, I'm blind. I didn't get to get eyes, you know. Have if, you studied that? If, if, if you're a Tom Cruise and you've got three, well, he's lucky in this life, and that's yes. nice. Mm. If you don't have any, doesn't matter. No, it next doesn't time. matter. Next time. But that's what the, the that's how important the stars are. They are those planets, and we chose to come in when it's like Russian roulette. We chose mm. to jump in mm. into incarnation at that moment because yeah. we want 
mercury in the feet. Mm. Or I, for some reason, I wanted the sun in my head. Mm. So I, I didn't, I wasn't born five days early and to be polarised with the sun in my feet. Mm. Mm. I wanted it there. I chose that. Yeah. And and the, these planets are always. It's they're mm. never. It's like snowflakes. It's never the same position for four million. 320,000 years, according to many people, till they reset and go back to zero. <laughs> anyway, um, fortunate and powerful beyond the usual is the one who has three, and he could be near to the gods in happiness who has four planets, each located in his own sign. More than this number, the character of the human race does not allow. Who's got four? I don't know yet. No. I'm going, to, I'm going to check that, but I, I would imagine Leonardo da Vinci would have to. Yeah. I would, would have to. It's, there's got to be something in the chart. It has to yeah. be. Because Leonardo da Vinci is you. Why were you so smart back then? What I'm saying is yeah. he's just dipping into the same solar consciousness so, yeah. as you yeah. are. Yeah. He just got a big dip, you know. Yeah. Got a big dip. Because, the, because the planets were aligned. Well, he said, yeah. And he yeah. wanted to. And he knew he could do it. Yeah. He could pull it up. He says, God, you allow me to jump in at this time. Yeah. I promise you, I'll invent machines and I'll yeah. enlighten humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Other people who are not doing that, and who, appear, who appear to be obtuse and trapped in the material maya, mm. the illusion, mm. they're probably forgotten. They've forgotten yeah. who they are. With all the fluoride in our water and all the immunisations and all the deliberate dumbing down in our education system to keep people um, obtuse, yeah. deliberate, it's just because they're not awakened. Planet yes. They're not awakened. I don't no. think it's deliberate. They're, they're not awakened. They don't have the consciousness. Oh, it is deliberate. Yes. When it's you deliberate. look at the food that is put into people, mm. it is it's very hard for evil people on the planet. Mm. Yeah. Well, evil, I'd say insane, not evil. Um, yeah. I would say that deluded. they're insane. Deluded. Deluded. Yeah. And they've chosen, because money's, the power and money that you get, mm. there's opportunities out there. and. You know, instead of staying on the course and mm. applying the holy science and just, mm. you know, concentrating on the gods that we are, mm. we see the new iPod and, mm. and the new one, you know, the new TV. And I want some of that, mm. right? Now we all suffer from this. Mm. We all do. Yeah. But he is. Exactly. They're That's on right. their journey too, aren't yeah. they? Oh, yes, right. bless them. Right. And yes. we've been there, and we've, we've been, been there, there and done that kind of thing. Yes. Life. We're no different to them. We're no. part of them. We're all They're probably mm. the reason we're and asking questions now. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, and how about this? He says, while on the other hand, he who has no planet in his own sign will forever be unknown. He's not talking about forever, forever. No. In the life that that person yeah. has been under. And that's fine. Yeah. Some people choose to be yeah. unknown. Yeah. They're happy. They're happy. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. They're happy. Yeah. They could be a lot happier than Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Of low-born life, that's right. Of low-born life and doomed to a miserable life, mm -hmm. he says. So that's probably talking about you know, people who are really suffering. There's a lot of suffering. I mean, imagine being born in, uh, in uh, some of those places. Matthias. They've got these cool names, I love that some of them. Uh, Ma Matthias. 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 Sorry. He wrote down, it's got the name on it. Sorry, yes. Oh, has it? No, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. Pretty cool Mathesius. name, some of these people. Yeah, Fernicus Maternus. Apparently, he turned Christian after he wrote that book, and he wrote a book, The Error of the Pagans. Um, but um, I think there's a little bit of shenanigans going on there. They did, they probably did that deliberately. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's not sort of, he's talking about, because there's error in every system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're trying to do, uncover yeah. the error. Yeah. If this all makes sense and everything I point to, because yeah. uh, that's all we're doing, we're just discussing knowledge. Yeah. We're not saying this is dogma and this is how it's supposed to go. But if, if a jeweler has got a thousand little cogs in the front there and he says, can you put that together for me? You know nothing about jewellery. You'll be there for a million years. But the jewellery go, okay, look, give me five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go, there's your new watch. Mm -hmm. So if we can do that, we can be jewellers yeah. today. Those charts are very powerful, you know. Like They're very powerful. All of this is very powerful because it teaches you where to focus your meditation. So it's not wasted. You're thinking, yeah. Virgo. Libra. 
Scorpio. Sagi. Sagi. Fire. 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 Air. 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 Such a beautiful science related to this. It's just exquisite. Earth. 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 Water. Oops. Water. Cardinal. Cardinal. in the Bible, the stories, and how to discern and understand those. Uh, let me just read from Luke, because Matthew and Luke talk about uh, Gabriel coming to um, to tell the Blessed Virgin Mary that she's going to have a child. See, Mary always conceives of the child, because remember, Aries rules from 6 to 8 o'clock. That's usually when the sun rises. Who should be sitting on the western horizon every morning? Every morning, because of course we know the three cycles. The day, the day starts here. The year, the year starts here. And the backward processional great year. So we, um, the Virgin is always there. And because this is the equinoxes and the solstice on the 25th of December when the sun is born, starts his way up. Becomes a man, little boy, man, old man, dying, son. Right? Um, when he does that, when he's born here, the virgin is still in prime position. She's still there. So they look east, because this is east. They look east on the 24th of December at 12 o'clock midnight. Right on that point, when the sun begins to start climbing up again and, and it, it, the days are lengthening. That's why Lent, Lent is over here. Because the days are lengthening. It's short for lengthen. The days are getting longer. Mm. Longer, the days are getting shorter. Mm. Right. Now, uh, what happens in Luke, because the Gospel always starts here. But, the science starts here. You can start the gospel here or here, the sheep or the goat, the solstice or the equinox. Okay? Uh, Luke. And this is nice. I'm just going to read from the first chapter when Gabriel comes on down and tells Mary. Right? So, in verse, I've got the Jerusalem Bible. I like this Bible, it's good, good, beautiful version. Um, Luke 1.19. I am Gabriel who stand in God's presence and I have been sent to speak to you to bring you this good news. Another version says, I am Gabriel who stands near to God. That's Gabriel who stands near to God, Mercury, the messenger. Gabriel is Mercury. In verse 26, it says, In the sixth month, that's the first month, that's the original name, Primus. And in fact, spring in Italian is Prima Vera. Prima, because first is here. The head is here, the year starts here, the day starts here, right ascension starts here, in the first degrees of Aries. That's the longitude of the skies, right ascension. 
starts here. First degrees of Aries. Just like Greenwich. Mm. Right? That's yep. the Greenwich point. Mm -hmm. um, what else starts here? Oh, goodness. Um, the horoscope. Read your horoscopes in the magazines. Always yes. starts with Aries. Yeah. In the sixth month, Virgo, the messenger who stands near to God, the sun, Mercury, comes to tell Virgo that you will uh, uh, give a ch child, right? Um, to, uh, in the sixth month, the angel was sent to, by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph. She's betrothed to Booties, who also has a red star in it called Arcturus, the brightest star in the Northern Hemisphere. You, you can see it next to Scorpio. It's not far from Scorpio. If you, when you see Scorpio tonight or wherever, look sort of more north and you'll see Arcturus. <laughs> There's nothing so imposing as Arcturus. He is spectacular. Red. And he's massive. It, you can see he's massive. And if you look at him on Google, check out his size compared to our sun. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Antares is big, the red star here. Mm. Two red stars here. Mm -hmm. She is betrothed to Joseph. That's Joseph, the shepherd. Yeah. Mm. And they go down together. They are wed. Mm. That's what it means. Mm. Down in verse 30. Eight. I'm going to have to start wearing glasses. <laughs> Down in verse 38. I am the handmaid of the Lord. She calls herself the handmaid of the Lord. Well, do you really, Virgo? Why would you call yourself the handmaid of the Lord? My goodness. Hand? What's with the hand, girl? There's your hot cross buns. <laughs> right. And there's Mary. She always stands next to the cross. <laughs> Mary is always next to the cross. She's always there. Mm. Botticelli, yeah. Raphael, whoever paints her, yeah. she's always there near the cross. Yes. As he's sipping the, sipping the, uh, the vinegar. There's the handmaid, Virgo. And look at the glyph for Virgo. Is that an M and a Y? Mary? It is. Mary Isis. That's who it is. Right? So you can see how the first, just the first opening nativity scene. This is the nativity scene. It's all here. She gave, and Elizabeth, she went to visit Elizabeth with, in, in child with John the Baptist six months. 24th of June, we'll show you that later. That's John the Baptist's birthday. That's Jesus, 25th of December. He shall go increasing. I shall go decreasing. You wonder, why did John the Baptist say that? Mm. Why are they saying these annoying things? Mm. The one coming behind me, he shall go on increasing. Mm. But I shall go on decreasing. That's John the Baptist's birthday. Mm. That's Jesus' birthday. Mm. It's the solstice. Mm. And, and Elizabeth gave a loud cry. She said, of all women, you are the most blessed. And blessed is the fruit of your womb. Not the child, not the son, the boy the man, the king that's coming in your womb, the fruit, it's Virgo. Blessed is the fruit of Virgo. Everybody looks forward to that. My father in southern Italy, I know he's a Virgo, he's got the pot belly of a Virgo, because the sun is in Virgo in the belly, and he's, he's with his pot belly, my dad, you know, and he loves his bread and his wine, the bread and the wine. That's the bread and the wine that Christians are taking. And just one more point, Mary set out at that time and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah to visit Elizabeth. I should have read that first before she said, blessed are you in the fruit of your womb. But the hill country, what is the hill country? Well, when Virgo gets into position, Virgo is very high in, 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 the, in the heavens. Let me explain this. All these stars here, in our, in our southern hemisphere are low in the sky. Like the winter sun is low and the summer sun is high. Okay, now it's winter here 
and the sun is lower than that, right? Well, these signs, we see them at about 35, 40, 40 degrees. Gemini's, Gemini's never above like it is in, in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, Castor is always there. Sort of thing, in, in, in Germany. Um, but but Castor has that prime position up there, it's very high, because these constellations come over our head very high. Scorpio, Scorpio is going straight over our head and Sagittarius and Capricorn and Aquarius. But those ones are over there because there's a 47 degree difference, okay? So that's why she goes into the hill country in the sixth month and Gabrielle comes to tell her. I'll leave that. How about the liturgical year? You know what that is? Well, that's all these wonderful days like Christmas, Easter, Groundhog's Day, uh, Halloween. What are they? Well, if you put the cross quarter days in. You've got May Day, February the 1st, uh, Groundhog's Day. Uh, Halloween. Halloween happens because they are the hallowed days. And why is November the first hallowed days? Because directly above are the Pleiades. The Pleiades are in Taurus. Right? When we get our little when we get our little bull out. Have you ever seen those? Those ancient, ancient, ancient bulls, Taurus. See the seven Pleiades, the seven sisters? See the seven sisters? There's the high 80s, there's the Pleiades. And they're in the head of the man because the Pleiades, pineal gland. And the high 80s would be the pituitary gland. But coming back to this, that's why the hallowed days, because on November the 1st you look up and there's the the Pleiades. Yeah. And the Bible says, can you, um, Job 38.32 says something about the sweet influences of the Pleiades. So it's, it's, would that be a suggestion of uh, Halloween in the Bible? Yes, it would. It is. It's Halloween. It's suggesting it's pointing straight to the celebration of Halloween because these four days are holy. They are blessed days. They're, the little stargates, mm. you know, the, the, the yeah. energy that comes down to us on the longest day, because here in electricity, according to Walter Russell, here is maximum gravitation. And the equinoxes is maximum radiation. And that's what electricity and magnetism is. Radiation, yeah. magnetism. Contraction, gravitation, masculine electricity. So what's your maximum what? Aspiration, inspiration. That's all it is. So what's your prediction of the crossing your vehicle on the, the dark rift? Sorry? The Can opposite? talk about that? Uh, well, it's over here. We'll talk about that. Mm. Yes, the Pleiades. Mm. That's the other crossing. Yes. Okay. But uh, let me see if I can find this about Job, about the sweet influences. Um, <clears throat> March 21 was maximum radiation. Was it? Yes. And June was maximum, maximum gravitation. gravitation. Gravity and radiation. That's the waveform, that's how it is. Mm. At the equator, when, the, when the, 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 the light starts to go away from wanting to go straight, because photons go straight, mm -hmm. unless there's something pulling them. What's pulling, what's pulling the photon mm. that comes from fixed, a uh, cardinal, okay. cardinal fire? What's the end there for? Um, male. Male, okay. Mute. Cardinal fire. Mute. No, 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 it's cardinal oh, fire, cardinal. right? The photon wants to go in a straight line. It gets yeah. pulled away by the woman. Cancer, water. Cardinal water and cardinal earth mm -hmm. at maximum gravity. Yep. But you've got the boys over here at maximum radiation. And it's a waveform, it's a sine wave. Yeah. You're getting that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's kind of make, okay. It's, it's very well, it does make sense. If you think cardinal fire, remember, yeah. cardinal, take it as birth. Get a fire, fire hydrant, right? A fire a hose. Yeah. And at the nozzle, the water is very tight and compact and yeah. strong. You put your finger in that, and yeah. right? That's cardinal. Yeah. That's why Aryans are explosive. Pressure. And, and Capricorns, they mm -hmm. climb the mountain. These cardinal people are explosive mm -hmm. because they're young. They, they've got the, the, 
the energy at the, at the root, and then the fixed is growth. It's more fixed and settled. And they are, Taurians have very settled earth sign, like bulls. <laughs> They've got big necks, because it rules the neck. And they're solid. And they don't budge. Big or necessarily, or could be long? The necks, the, the, well, I should say, long. sorry, yeah. prominent. prominent. Aryan heads are prominent. <laughs> And you look at some of the famous ones, I'll show you some of the famous ones, you know, and you see the heads are prominent. The Virgo's got the belly. The Sagittarians have all got thick thighs. So March 21, if that's maximum radiation, September the 21st is what? That's still maximum. Also radiation. That's still maximum. Yeah, but, but the sine wave yeah. goes through and, and, and reverses. Okay. It reverses. The electric, positive electricity becomes negative electricity here at this point. But it's doing it positive, negative, positive, negative all the time. The positive fire of air is morning. We wake up in the head at fire. Hello, the light's on, cardinal fire, right? And then we put fixed earth into our mouths. Taurus, we eat breakfast, that's fixed earth. Virgo is the belly, that's mutable earth because Virgo is digesting the fixed earth. But as the sun goes through and Gemini's the arms and the lungs, the lungs, air, lungs, so we've got fire in the head, we've got earth in the mouth, the material, we're concerned about survival. It's material, it's a material sign. We're concerned about leather couches and comfort and everything like that. These ones aren't, they're just inspired to go out there and climb mountains and, and achieve things and sort of thing, right? Um, then air, the lungs, the twins, Gemini, mm. then water, the chest, the mother's milk, mm. and then Leo, fixed fire, the blood, mm. hot, blood, warm, that rules the, the uh, blood circulation. Mm. And, and, and I think that rules uh, the, lymph, the lymphatic system, the nervous system, mm. skin, it's all you know, different, but, but see here all the, all the, that's why this is beautiful. This is the Jewish menorah, mm. the seven, one, two, three, four, five, the Jewish lampstand, mm. because this is glorious, this is not. Mm. And here are all the chakras, as you saw in my other thing, mm. all the chakras are here. There are no vital organs between Sagittarius and Thighs and Pisces and Feet, mm. and that corresponds to eight hours when we're asleep. Mm. So the chakras are still there, they're just the lower chakras. And down here? Yeah. Well, they are. They are, they are there, actually, yes. But the, the, the seven wheels, the seven rayed God, mm. who is sustaining us, is, is from here. These are all the vital mm. from here, from Scorpio, from Aries to Scorpio. That's the generative organs. Mm. Scorpio, ruled by Mars. Mm. I'm saying that because there's a reason. And Mars, when you think about, see, in astrology, that's the ruler, the seven rayed god, and the moon is the ruler of Cancer. And then in order, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. In order, for, away from the sun. Because Mercury is always near the sun. That's Mercury, that's Mercury. Right? He's always near the sun. You look at any birth chart, uh, perhaps we can have a look at Tom Cruise's while we're here, and you'll see that Venus and Mercury are never away from the sun. They are never far away from the sun. They can, Venus can never be more than 48 degrees away from the sun because their orbits are inside ours. <laughs> Come on, Tom. He's probably been taken by the Nibirubians because, you know, <laughs> he is, a, he is a Well, there he is, Tom Cruise. Mercury in Gemini. Yeah. Hang on. Jupiter in Pisces. And Saturn in Aquarius, he's got three. And he nearly had the, he nearly had the Venus, uh, he nearly had the Moon in Cancer. It's on the cusp, it's just in Leo by a degree. He could have been a real god, but according no. to Firmicus Maternus. Because mm. when those planets are in their home, oh, no. <laughs> everything works in the body. But as he said, because we're mortals, yeah. these bodies, we're not here to make perfect bodies. There's got to be friction. There's got to be yeah, something yeah, wrong. Yeah. There's got to be an imbalance. There's got to be, you know, something, to, a struggle. Because yeah. we're here to 
climb past that struggle and see what it means to the seven vices, to see how they manifest in this material world and how we can overcome them and turn them into virtues and climb back up that mountain. But if you put... So, and and uh, what I was showing you was um, that Mercury is not far from the sun, never is. That's why he's the, the messenger of God. Mm. There's Mercury and there's Venus, not more than two signs removed. It can never square with the sun. Yeah. They can never give bad energy to the sun. They are always benefic for that reason. Mm. Whereas Saturn is always bad because look at Saturn. Have a look at Saturn. That's his two kingdoms. Yeah. He is deliberately opposed one to the moon and one sign to the sun. Saturn is Satan. That's Jesus. That's Satan. That's good. That's evil. Mm. He's cold. He's hot. Mm. Fire and air. Mm. See, Satan kills Jesus because Jesus is the fire. Grow, birth, decay. Gets to die when Saturn takes over. Mm. Because he says, hey, down here it's cold. Mm. Your work's done up there. Mm. I rule down here. And that's where Satan rules. Osiris in the underworld. Mm. Neptune. Pluto, all those dark boys, they're down here. <laughs> but Jupiter, Mars is down here, he's a dark boy. He's a naughty boy. <laughs> uh, but, but Jupiter, Jupiter's got these ones. And then Mars is here, and then Venus is here. And, and that's how they go. You see, Saturn, he is, he is the only planet that is, a, is the opposer. Because Jupiter, he's in a trine with the moon, mm. and that's 120 degrees. You see, a trine in astrology is a benefic angle, but a square or an opposition is dangerous and deadly. And these guys, see, he's, he's an, op an opposer, but Jupiter's kind to the moon, and he's also kind to the moon on this side, and to the sun on this side. And Mars is kind to, uh, sorry, so Jupiter here is kind to the sun, and over here is kind to the moon. And Mars, the next sign up, here is kind to the moon on this side, and over here is kind to the sun. Good angles, you see? Mm. So they're capable of good, he's not. That's Satan. Mm. Saturn. Latin. Mm. Latin? Yes, I threw that in just to make you think. I'm not going to go down that line. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as Virgil said in the, in, in the Ennead, we Latins know that we are Saturn's people. Because all the planets make people. Simple as that. There are Venetians down here, there are Martians, there are Mercur Mercurians, there are seven religions. The Christian religion is Christ, the Sun. The Jewish religion is Saturn, they have their day on Saturn day. Um, but they also have Thursday because they are also Eloistic. You see, they are Jehovistic and they are Eloistic. Mm. There's um, a bit over in our day. Can I have a slide? Yeah, you go, mate. Just leave it on. Yeah, yeah leave it go. Um, Saturn, it on. Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon. This is the order. The Sun is always in the middle. Because he takes 30 years, Saturn, to go around the Sun. He takes. 12 years, and then you've got two years, one year, tw 225 days, 88 days, 28 days. So that's the hierarchical order that you saw over here. And that's why when we get caught in time, in, in, in Kronos, in the kingdom of Satan, because he, he rules them in that sense, because of his 30 year orbit, and there, and there it is. It's the same order, all right? Um, well, we begin to realize that there are religions that come from this. This is the Christian religion that's supposed to be, it's not. Catholicism is all of them, it's universal. I'll show you that. They've got the Madonna in there, they've got Saturn, the Latin church, they've got Jupiter, Jupiter, the church of Peter, that's Jupiter. Yeah. So you go, you go and kiss that, when, you know that beautiful statue of Peter that they kiss, the, the, the thumb, the uh, thumb is worn off. Well, that was, used to be called Zeus. That was Jupiter. That was Jupiter. They just changed the name. Mm. Jupiter. Peter. Mm. But, but see, that's the Jews. They have mm. their celebration is on Saturday. On Saturday and, and that is El. The name of Saturn is El, like the sun. He also is called El. Mm. I can explain that, but it's too long for now. Mm. But El, and this Jupiter is Jehovah. 
Jehovah is Jupiter because Jupiter Jupiter is the Lord, he's the ethereal one, he is the Lord of the fire and the air and the earth and the water. It's always known that he is the one. So they are illoistic and they are geoistic. Mm. Mars is the Hindu religion, mm. their, their holidays on Tuesday. Sunday, that's the sun, that's Christian, they have their holiday on Sunday. The Muslims, Venus, mm. that's the g colour green for Venus, they have theirs on Friday, that's Venus. Uh, Mercury is the Buddhists. They have their holiday on Wednesday, their Sabbath. So, and the moon, well, who would the moon be? Well, that, that would have to be the religion of spiritual, uh, spiritistic, what they call spiritistic people, the witches and stuff like that, the sinners. Yeah, yeah, form of paganism, they have to be. I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm sure about those, but yeah. the moon is a little bit of it. But there are, as Manly P. Hall says, seven great religions by the seven planets because we are all devoted to them. My ruling planet is the sun because my ascendant is in Leo. That's the ascendant that rules the planet. The planet. So I, I have to obey, obey the sun. I have to observe the sun and direct my focus and energy there. Whereas other people have a different ascendant, you might have to pay respect to Jupiter. That's what it means to respect the gods, the second gods, the demiurge. But in doing so, we don't worship them above the one. Never may that happen, because then, you, then you, you're degrading the one. But the Ein Sof is happy for us to see the nature, the suns, and pay them devotion and honour. So what were the seven great religions then? Um, well, it would be Christianity. Yeah. That's for the sun. Jewish. Mm. Hindu. Yes. Buddhism. Mm. Um, oh, I don't know what else to put, put in there really. The Mohammedism. Islam. The, is, the, the Islam. Islam, yeah. Islam. And th these are the two Jewish. Yeah. So there's two. They've actually taken up two because there's two different kinds of Jewish and they've merged it into one. Yeah. So Saturn and Jupiter is Jewish. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Jupiter, that's why they, they wear the, the cap of Jupiterian. Is that the Venus? That's still Yamaka. Oh, and seven is. Potentially the, 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 what planet did that the witches. Because what planet did that come The moon. The moon. The moon. Yes, yes, because the moon is min, mm. is sin. So a sinner is someone who follows the moon. Because there were four religions. Yeah, yeah. There was the stars, yeah. the sun, solar religion, yeah. Christianity. There was the moon. Yeah. And then there was, um, and the planets. Mm. Again, that's the four source religions that we have. Uh, Stella, solar, lunar, and planetary. Yeah. Those religions came down to us because it all comes from this. Yeah. Ah. There it is. Can you fasten the harness of the Pleiades or untie Orion's bands? There's better, better versions of that where it says, can you, um, can you tell the influences of the Pleiades? Because mm. going back to Halloween, that's look, look above. Always look above. What I want to do now is go through the liturgical year, starting with the 25th of December. We know what that is. It's the birthday of the sun, mm. right? The unconquered sun, because he never gets conquered. Well, he does, but then he regains. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets resurrected here. Remember, the sun is dead for three days. Mm. What does it mean? We'll have a look at fire. Fire, fire, mm. fire. One, two, three days of no fire. Mm. This quadrant has no fire. Here is the resurrection, Easter. Mm. Easter is where you celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection because that's where Christ resurrects. Here he can't resurrect. Impossible. But he's born here. Now, the first day on the liturgical year is January the 1st. Guess what it's called? The, the, um, the Feast of Circumcision. Because after eight days, the Jews circumcise their children, right? Well, January the 1st, um, isn't that appropriate that the whole year should be circumcised because cool. circumcision means chir kun 
Chidere. Circumcise. This is the circumference, and it is always cut off. The year, the year is circumcised, chopped off on the 31st of December. So how does that translate? And to that is where the circumcision is. How does that translate to mutilating children? How does it translate to all the other barbaric things that the priests have taught us yes. to do? Fearing the gods, fearing hell and demons and Satan. And, 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 and sodomizing you for the for you know, just for throwing a bit of you know, physical torture too. We don't want to just torment you uh, spiritually. We're gonna sodomize you too. So circumcision is for what? And what happens on that day? Sorry? And we believed it. That's we believed all that bullshit. Oh, it's this that's why the truth is so beautiful. This is more persecuted than anything else. Do you think that people like Jim Humble, who, who discover um, MMS uh, Miracle Solutions, has to, have to, has to run to bloody Nigeria and Mexico to practice, and, and all those others who have discovered free energy have been just snuffed out by corporate monstrosities because they want their oil, they want their drugs, they want all arms and everything. And this is the thing that they are in fear of the most. This makes you think. Not, it, it, this teaches you how to think, not what to think. So what does circumcision mean? What does it mean like, on that uh, date? What happens? Circumcision. So many? circumcision. Well, circumcision. On the 24th, from the 24th New Year's Eve to the 1st of January, this is the first, it's eight days. Mm. That, when a, a Jewish child is born, they wait eight days, then they circumcise it. It's talking about the sun. Yeah. The sun is born here, gets circumcised there. In other words, the year gets cut, you know? Gets yeah. cut off. Oh, that's, that, that's what it means. The year gets cut. Oh, yes. God. Yes. Isn't By that how beautiful? many days? So, yeah, but I feel terrible. Well, the sun gets his... The sun... It's all right, you're not doing it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is in the sun. Not just yeah, well, of course, because this is the sun. This is the solar year. This is when the sun is born. On the 25th 20th. of December over here, yeah. Yeah. 20th. and this is January the 1st, where it, it, and that is the Feast of Circumcision. That's when the sun gets circumcised. In other words, his year gets cut. Where else can you cut? Where else can you circumcise the year? You cut it on the 21st of December. Well, surely if you, you wouldn't want to cut it anywhere else. It, it doesn't make sense. Mm. But what does it? How does it? How it gets cut? I mean, it's, it just happens. It just uh, figuratively. It's the end of the year, and we celebrate New Year's Eve. It's cut. Wait, we've cut the year. From the old year's gone. Okay. 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 Which is eight days after the twenty. Yeah. Yeah, eight days after the twenty-second, twenty-first. Yeah, eight days. Yeah. After the twenty-first, is it? Yeah. Brilliant. Right. The next festival. Um, that I want to point out. Oh, there's many. There's many. I just want to point out some juicies. Um, and if you want to get these dates, this was the Reverend Robert Taylor in the year 1830 who exposed all of these stars. Not only him, there's, there's plenty of others. I mean, my goodness. Um, I, can, I can quote. One of the best ones I like to show people is um, Albertus Magnus. Oh, in fact, I'll read it out of his book. I'll read the, the quote from his book. So it's the devil's pulpit, Reverend Robert Taylor. <laughs> Mm, he went to jail twice, but because they gave him that title, he's the devil. Don't go down to the uh, yeah. to the carousel. What was his church called? It was called the. Um, oh, here it is. Here we go. But he was from the devil because, like me, yeah. we're teaching yeah. the devil science yes. here. Like Julian, fancy talking about nitrogen, oxygen, yeah. and all that stuff. Julian Lennon did the same thing. In, in his, they killed him for the same reason because he said that it was all in the stars. Is that why he, they killed him? Really? Who? Lennon. John, John Lennon? John Lennon, yeah. Or oh, Julian Lennon, one of them. Yeah. Julian's his son. Oh, I'll get, I'll get mixed up. John Lennon. John Lennon. That's what they killed him for, because he knew all this. Oh, something. At the Rotunda. No such thing as The Rotunda. Yeah, that's where he preached. Mm. Albertus Magnus, Magnus expressly said, all the mysteries of the incarnation of our Saviour Christ, he, w he was from the 1200s. He's a doctor of the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. There are only 33 doctors, including Augustine, Eusebius, guys like that. We're talking Jerome, Saint Jerome. Mm -hmm. This guy made it in the 33 doctors of the Catholic Church and he has this to say, mm -hmm. 
all the mysteries of the incarnation of our Saviour Christ and all the circumstances, circumstances of his marvellous life from the conception to his ascension are to be traced out in the constellation and are figured in the stars. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tell us, is there a website where you get all these awesome books from? I mean, or are they just all over the place? Is there um, a well, on my uh, original key DVD, I have 80 books on the back of that that point to how you can learn this. <laughs> 80 books. If you want to know the ones to get quick knowledge, uh, real quick, so you don't have to, dip, you know, fish around. For, but I've been doing this for 30 years. Not exactly just this. Just Yeah, I know. That's what I'm going to do. But uh, here we go. Let's just, let's just do one or two more, since we're on, on this. Um, these are really old, okay? The Nag Hammadi teachings, the teachings of Sylvanus. This is the year 150 CE. Calls Christ the true light and the sun of life. S-U-N. Mm. Christ, is, this is the Manicheans from the 3rd century. Christ is the glorious intelligence which the Persians called Mithras. His residence is the sun. Tertullian goes on to say in his uh, famous defence against the pagans, you say we worship the sun, so do you. Clement says in his expert excerpts, Ex Theodoto, he says that the Valentinian Gnostic Theodotus says the apostles were substituted for the twelve signs of the zodiac. Mm. Well, it's the other way around. We know that. Irenaeus said the Gnostics truly declared that all the supernatural transactions asserted in the Gospels were counterparts of what took place above in the sky and the heavens. Mm. Emperor Julian in the year 363 is the nephew of Constantine the Great, mind you. And he brought the world back to true devotion of solar science with his orations to the sun and the Christians killed him. In here is magnificent knowledge, even the knowledge that the sun is the centre of the solar system. They knew it. They knew it. Pythagoras knew it. Plutarch knew it. I can give you the evidence, but I'm not going to go there because I've got too much to do here. I'm not going to get to the astrology today, unfortunately. <laughs> this is more important, as you'll see. Uh, Emperor Julian in his Against the Galileans, of which I have a copy, uh, it's at home, but it's worth reading. Um, he says, and this is within 40 years of the Council of Nicaea, we have the Emperor Julian writing the following, it is, I think, expedient to set forth to all mankind the reasons by which I was convinced that the fabrication of the Galileans is a fiction of men composed by wickedness. St. Patrick, 390. The Christ, the true Christ, is the Son. The Venerable Bede, he's another big boy, like Albertus Magnus. We are commanded to observe the full moon of the Paschal month after the vernal equinox to the end that the sun may first make the day longer than the night and then the moon may afford the world her full orb of light, inasmuch as first the Son of Righteousness, in whose wings is salvation, that is, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the triumph of his resurrection, dispelled all darkness of death, and so ascending into heaven, filled his church, which is often signified by the name of the moon. My God, it's blatant. It's blatant. Marsilio Ficino. He was the, the esoteric teacher in the uh, Renaissance time. He says something similar. Leonardo da Vinci, what would he have to say about the sun now? What would he know about the sun and true worship in this? He's only a genius. Uh, well, this is what he said. I could wish that I had such power of language as should avail me to ensure those who would extol the worship of men above that of the sun. Those who have wished to worship men have made a very grave error. Mm. Yeah. That's the historical Christ. Mm. The grave error. There is no vicarious salvation. Jesus Christ ain't going to turn up there no. on Judgment Day and say, look, God, get him in. God, he's believed in me. Don't worry about the alcohol. Yeah, don't worry about all the rest of the lying and the cheating and everything. He came to church, paid a lot of money, because yeah. that's what the church wanted. Don't you worry. Mm. Get him in, God. 
not going to happen. Mm. You get yourself on your own merits. Easy. Mm. With your own Jesus. Mm. And you know that. Mm. I can go on. Mm. I've got pope, popes. Pope Leo, at the time of... In fact, uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted uh, Giovanni de' Medici, who called himself Leo X, mm. and said, it was well known how profitable this fable of Christ has been to us. Mm. Of course, he was fat pig just sitting all the glory of the Vatican and the prostitution and all the wealth of the Vatican. Of course, he said it's uh, the the fiction, the fictional story of Christ is going to bring bring us profit. Mm. The next great festival, ah. people, is February the second, and February means purification. And guess what it's called? The purification of Saint Mary on the second of February. Ooh. Saint Mary. Well, would that be pure February meaning purify? Yes, it does. <coughs> See, I I know I know something that I could do what Luigi Cascioli tried to do when he sued the the, the, the Vatican. I, I could easily do it. If I had a, a day in court, any court, I'll bring my books and I can prove that Jesus Christ, the historical saviour of all these Christians, is not a historical person. I can do that. Let's do that. Where, I will. Yeah. I will. And I'll, I'll, I, will start, I will start with the only mention of Jesus followed by a verb by mm. any historian, Josephus, which is a clear fabrication because the early documents of Josephus do not have that one, one sentence that talks about Jesus. Mm. The other writers, Suetonius, Pliny the Younger, and Tacitus, mention nothing about Jesus followed mm. by a verb. Jesus mm. ate, Jesus ran, Jesus mm. walked, taught, whatever. Mm. Nothing. They only, those other three writers that Christians say, oh, historians confirm that he lived. They don't. There's not a one. There's nothing, not a shred of evidence that there was a man called Jesus. And yet I can prove that his counterpart, uh, Apollonius of Tyana, who performed mir miracles, did in fact live. Because that is a true, that is a true biography. The Gospels are not. Mm. The Gospels are this. Mm. And I, you know what amazes me is why didn't Philo say something about Jesus? Plutarch, my my favourite from the first century, he was a priest in Delphi. Mm. He wrote eighty books. Didn't mention Christ, Jesus lived virtually on his footprint, mm -hmm. on his historical footprint. Mm -hmm. Suetonius didn't mention anything. Nero's, the guy that Nero, mm -hmm. his philosopher that he killed. What's Sorry, uh, um, Seneca. Mm -hmm. What's bringing to mind is, if this happens in the heavens, why would there not be a corresponding physical happening on earth? That's very, very uh, appropriate question, because um, the great Egyptologist, Wallace Budge, he was Christian. And 200 years ago, he was the one that went down into Egypt and, and mm. said, my God, the story of Christ is here. Mm. How am I going to, you know, um, give that? They all went down, the Pauline's guys, they all went down and saw this Christ is the, you know, the, mm. the pyramids. It, it's mm. all solar. Mm. It's the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, I mean, the, the, in the middle of, of St. Peter's Square is the obelisk. That comes yeah. from Egypt, from Cairo. Yeah. Cairo is Kai ro mm the solstices and the equinox. Mm. And that pattern is in the Vatican mm. on the ground in St. Peter's Square. Mm. That's the Union Jack and the flag of the, mm. the sun. Uh, uh. <laughs> right? That's the cross that Constantine saw. So Wallace Budge, he said, well, it happened in the heavens, there's no doubt about it. Can't deny it. Mm. But it's funny how the heavens make things manifest on the earth and Jesus did in fact come and that. And mm. So he perpetuated the lie. Mm. He's responsible for it because we all love Wallace Budge because the knowledge about Egypt that he mm. shared with the world. But he was still stuck on that historical Christ. Mm. And all Christian founders were too, mm. like Charles Russell, the founder of the Jehovah's Witnesses, mm. and Joseph Smith. They come from Illuminati bloodlines. Mm. They are Illuminati bloodlines. Mm. Illuminati meaning supposedly illuminated. Mm. But somewhere along the line, they're very, very corrupted, these mm. families, and they've gone after wealth rather than spiritual mm. truth. Well, they have the Illuminati that they're enlightened into magnetics. And well, yes. And all that yes, works. Yeah. Which is the building. They've counterfeited. Large blocks. 
things like that. So is Wallace Budge the reason why everyone believes it's Jesus? No, 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 no. Because only decades after, only decades after Budge came Gerald Massey. Okay. And most of this stuff comes from Gerald Massey because he was the one that the English historian uh, self-taught who uh, wrote The Light of Egypt. Big volume, got it at home. And I've learned a lot of that from here. Mm -hmm. Gerald Massey's marvellous and he just contradicted Budge. But it's not, you know, like a, a flat contradiction. It's just that you can find the truth in what Budge says if you understand that this is really where the source of the whole thing is. If you really understand it. There's a lot of books that I can point you to that will be very beneficial for you to do that. And I encourage people to do that. Mm -hmm. I just got to take change while you're having your call. Yes. So we've got Christmas Day, the birthday of the sun. Hello, the 25th of December. The 1st of January, the circumcision, eight days after. And of course you circumcise the year there. You chop it off on December the 30th. That's, a, that's where the scissors are. Mm -hmm. Right? And then the festival of purification in the, the month of purification. My God, just wait to see what, what else is coming. So there's the throne of God. It's 30 degrees. These are the stars that don't set. Um, and um, there's the dragon. That's booties with the red star Arcturus. There's booties in Virgo. So you can see how it relates. So there's the zodiac belt and there's the throne. They're, they're both Mount Zion. This is the original Mount Meru, Shambhala. Huh. Remember those stars in the time-lapse thing? Mm. They all look up into that because they believe that, that is a stargate, the mm. northern stars. That's why I showed you a picture of the domes. They've got the hole there because yes. it's like, whew, we're getting yeah. out of here. Yeah. We're going up there. Yeah. We're youngsters. Yeah. So all I'm doing is showing you what's there when you notice it. I'm trying to find Cephas, but uh, where is he? He'd have his star. It's a very powerful diagram. Well, there he is. He's in there, Cephas. He's got his foot on Polaris. Yeah. But the dragon normally gets the position, the prime position. Everyone wants pole position, especially yeah. Ursa Major, that are great there. Polaris is in Ursa Minor, her child. So the woman is always fleeing from the dragon. Yeah. In Revelation, it says the woman is fleeing from the dragon. Yeah. And he chases it down into Egypt. Mm. Okay, so we've got Christmas Day on the 25th of December. Hello. Mm. Start of the journey of the sun. We've got the circumcision eight days later, the 1st of January. Right on cue. We've got the February the 2nd, which is the, fe the festival of purification for Mary. And February means purification. We've got Lent here because the days are lengthening. We've got Easter here because the stars crossed over the east. Mm. And on the 25th of March is the, the day of the Annunciation. That's when Gabriel actually, that's the date they fixed it. And why? Interesting. Count nine months. If, he, if, the, mm. if, if Mary gets a little boy in her belly over here, mm. he's going to be wanting to be born right on cue, isn't he? Nine months later, mm. right? 180 days above and then after six months six months on the on the sept seventh month the baby drops mm. in the belly there we go there's the belly mm. this is where the baby drops to be born again mm. and that all comes from the beautiful cycle of the 28 day moon cycle mm. from new moon to full moon. Remember how the sun is bleeding to death over here? Mm -hmm. This corresponds the, the, the two or three, the one or two days that you cannot see the moon because it's in between you and the, the earth and the sun. Mm. That corresponds to the bleeding of the womb. This is the womb of the woman. 14 days for the egg to mature. Mm. This is quarter moon. Mm. Aries, the lamb, sits over here. So she is the reflector of the sun. And, and it's, it's waxing moon, waning moon. Mm -hmm. And there she's in a glory. How glorious is a moon mm -hmm. when it's full. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. My God, it's just magic, isn't it? Wow, mm -hmm. I love it. It's just magic. And there she is. And that's why the sun, Jesus, 
and he's resurrected. And remember, after 40 days, he didn't ascend to 40 days, because this is where you ascend, on the cross quarter day. And that's the day when you announce, May 1st, that's the day when you announce that Osama bin Laden's dead, uh, Hitler's dead. Um, that's also on, on the two days, the day before that was when the royals got married and they beatified Pope John Paul and May 1st is the Illuminati founding day. Mm. Oh, I don't know how much I can tell you about that. Mm. But that's when Christ ascends after 40 days. And Pentecost happens around here. Mm. That's the 49, 50 days of Pentecost mm. where the embryo in the womb mm. becomes a fetus. Mm. Conception. That's mm. Passover day. These are the three holy Jewish festivals. Passover. Um, Pesach, Shavuot, Sukkot. The festival, festival of Tabernacles happens here in the week. This is the Day of Judgment, 21st of September. And this is called Rosh Hoshana. Rosh means the head, because this is the start of the Jewish calendar, secular. This is the start, 21st of March, is the start of the sacred Jewish calendar. Excuse me. So, after 40 days, the sun is resurrected. May. As the sun climbs up, there's two stars in here called Asinellus Borealis, Asinellus Australis. The southern donkey, the northern donkey. And Jesus is always riding on two, go- two cults in the Gospel as he comes into Jerusalem to be enthroned or to be received. And this is... Palm Sunday is around here, the week before Easter, Palm Sunday, because the palms are representing the, the 30 days of the moon, and they are, and it's, the sun is in procession because these are the glorious days of spring. And the, when the sun is around these signs, people rejoice. This is a nice time to get married, you know, April. Flora happens here, the, the ancient festival of flora, around, it finishes on May the 1st flora because of the flowers, the flower season. In, in Japan it's called sakura, sakura season, and they have their little barbecues under the blossom. Mm. It's all around here, in the primavera, the first season, the head. Here, Jesus eventually begins to be betrayed. But before he does that, he comes to midsummer. Have you heard of Jesus being transfigured on the holy mountain? Stuck out a bit, that one. Well, Jesus led his apostles up a mountain and he was transfigured. Stuck out, is it? No, transfigured. Yeah. And, and, and he saw, um, they, Peter saw Moses and Elijah. Right? Mm-hmm. And he said, well, I, I should make a tent for them. And Jesus rebuked him. But what's, what's the transfiguration? Where well, you see Jesus is, is radiant in light and glory. It's famous. Guess what day they fixed it in the Catholic Church? The day of transfiguration. Wouldn't you, glor- as the moon is glorified here on the one day of the month, the full moon, where would you glorify the sun? Midsummer. The middle of summer, where he is in his kingdom, right here around about the 8th, the 6th of August, right on cue. You don't put the day of transfiguration over here because the sun's rays are like, the sun's yeah. like yeah. impotent. Yeah. There he is in the lion, the fixed fire. Two o'clock to four o'clock, the hottest part of the day. Summer, the dog days are here. Those three weeks of very, very vicious heat because Sirius is behind the sun. Mm. What else happens here? Well, this is August. This is September, August 15, the Assumption of the Virgin. Assumption? She gets taken up to heaven? Yeah, because that's the day when Virgo can't be seen anymore. She's, assum- she's taken up because the sun is in. When the sun is in a sign for 30 days, you don't see its sign. You can't see it, right? Because the sun's there and it blots out all the stars. And when the sun, the sun comes up, Perseus, slays Medusa, the star lit night, that's the sun, all the stars flee. So it's Samson who killed these 1,000 Philistines with the, the Jorax. Samson, Shimshen in Hebrew, 
Last time I checked was the little sun. So here's the sun killing his thousands. That happens here. And Perseus is in here. Perseus is in here with Medusa. He's holding the head of Medusa. Because every morning, the sun comes up and smashes all the stars. Mm. Right? So Virgo gets, gets assumed. Assumption. It gets taken up. Mm. September the 8th rocks along, which in the old calendar was September the 8th. They've stuck to that date, mm. but it actually is September the 21st, right? Mm. Is the nativity. She's born. That's when she reappears because the sun has passed through her. On the 29th of August, and remember, I have the line here, okay? 29th of August, around about here, that's August, we place um, uh, August, yeah, no, it's around about here. So, June the 21st, July the 21st, August 29th would be around there. Yeah, about there, okay. Well, look who's popping up. Look whose head's coming up. You see, that is, August the 29th is officially the Catholic date for the beheading of John the Baptist. Leo, Herod, always beheaded John the Baptist. In the Gospels, Herod was worried at one stage that he heard there was a rumour that John the Baptist was resurrected. Well, in fact, as Herod comes up, he sends John the Baptist's head down over here, and six months later, John the Baptist gets resurrected. Yes. Okay? That is on the a picture. There's four panels there. That's the nativity scene. That's happening here and here, where Gabriel... There's Gabriel. He's called Neff. Yeah. This little fellow's called Neff. I wonder what we can learn about the word Neff. I think it's got a K on it. Neff? Something like that. Um, Nephma. In Greek, is spirit. Huh. Uh, ne nef nefesh, in Hebrew, has to do with soul. I think spirit or soul, but anyway, there it is already in Egypt. Mm. There he is, Gabriel, Neff, mm. telling Mary, hey girl, I'm an answer to you, mm. you will conceive a new son, mm. and he'll be born on cue. Mm. There she is, she's pregnant. Mm. This was covered in stucco. Mm. They had to pull this off, and they saw it there, and they said, well, there you go. Mm. There's, there's, the, there's the Christian religion. Yeah. They pulled it off from where? The... It was covered in stucco. Yeah, stucco. Yeah, like the yeah, plaster. Right yeah. uh, it was an original, very ancient. It was done by Tuff Moses the Third mm. in about the 15th century and where is BC it? in Luxor, mm. Karnak. Karnak. That's yes, in Karnak, is it? Thebes, around that area. Yeah. But it's the Temple of Luxor. Yeah. What's you it see, called? Got a name? Uh, that's it. That's the name. That's the nativity scene. Mm. Oh, in the Luxor. Yes. And they're all Egyptian deities. Yep. Yeah, and that's Pyramus. clearly Egyptian. Yeah. Hieroglyphs. Yeah. Holy. Holy writings. Mm. Right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make any mistake about it. Because Egypt, like Giordano Bruno said 400 years ago, when he was, well, he was burned at the stake in a very, very disgusting way. And he said that, he said, unless we go back to the religion of Egypt, because they knew the science, they were in the golden age. Mm. We've come down out of the golden age now. But they knew it. Yeah. We've got to go back to that. Not the obtuse, mm. um, pathetic version mm. that we're getting from people who are the blind leading the blind. Mm. And there are the midwives. There's the son with a crown on his head. It's the new son on the 25th of December. The unconquered son. And there are the three wise men. Mm. And that's the three stars in Orion. Sure. And Orion... Show that again, pretty please. Yes, there's the four panels. Yep. Neff, yep. putting the Holy Spirit with the ank. He's got the ank in his, he's putting the Holy Spirit into the woman and making her conceive. So it's Holy Spirit. Yep. Holy just, Spirit. Just do the concise through that. Yep. And there she is, she's pregnant, clearly. 
It looks like a bottom. Oh, that's Ned. That's the Gabriel. So he's got a different name. Let me see if I can give you the names. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, the first scene on the left hand shows the god Tat. It's the second one that's Neff, because he's putting it into her. And he's announcing, announcing. So that's Mercury, and that's Neff. Okay. And there's the midwives, and there's the, the boy with the, the crown, and there's the three wise men. Because the three wise men are also there, pointing to the star above the manger, and, the, and born of a virgin on the 25th of December. And it works with the, it works with the conception embryo at 50 days, exactly 50 days, the embryo becomes a fetus, that's Pentecost, you wait 49 days and then you celebrate Pentecost, the third Jewish pilgrimage festival, all on cue. See the sun's, what do you call that? Yes, we call it a... Corona. Yes. That's why Jesus always has a crown of thorns. See the thorns here? Yes. Because Jesus is the Son. Yes. The yes. In the Bible, in Psalms 83.11, yes. it says, The Lord is a sun and a shield. 84.11. The Lord God is the sun and the shield. That's the sun. That's the magnetosphere around the earth, which is shielding us from the solar rays, which will strip our atmosphere if we don't have it. So the Lord God, clearly it says there in Psalm 84 and 11, the, the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The other three scriptures which identify God are... There's only four scriptures that tell you what God is mm. in the Bible. The second God, not the Ein Sof. Because that's the one we have to work with. Mm. We're working with the course level that we're at. Yeah. <clears throat> um, John 4, 8, God is love. Whoops. <laughs> love. Let's, let's, let's see what the Lord, <laughs> let's put an E on the front, because that's mm. how Latin was, mm. El, the Spanish still do it, mm. they say, El muchacho, mm. yes, yes. El, El, mm. El, they're talking about the sun, because yes. it's masculine. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> the El Lord gives us El love, God is love, mm. 1 John 1, 5, God is light, mm. everybody knows that, what's God? God is light. Mm. He's light. It's the sun. And the other scripture. Says. Oh, Hebrews 12.29. For our God is a consuming fire. In Genesis. 1.14, it says, let there be lights in the vault. This is the first chapter of the Bible when God's mm. creating everything. Whiz, bang, bang. Mm. Right? Let there be lights in the vault. We saw the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs mm. to mark sacred times and for seasons and for days and for years. Mm. Year coming from the sun. It's in, it's in the Bible. And, 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 and the scripture I talked to you about in uh, talking about the Maseroth is Psalms, uh, is Job 38, 32. Can you tell forth the Maseroth? Can thou bring forth Maseroth in its season? So God's saying, can you? Mm. Do you know when Virgo's coming up? And do you know what it means? Mm -hmm. You get out there and harvest. Mm. When you see the bull, you plow. Otherwise you miss out on the harvest. Mm. Mm. All right, so um, so love, light, and what else? The three L's. That's why we love El, Allah, Al, Mike, El, Israel. Mm. 
It's all L. The elder in the congregation, the elite one, the mm. elevated one. Mm. Sitting under the bell of the chapel, of the citadel, the cathedral, near the altar, mm. to Baal, mm. and reading out of the Bible, which comes from Babel, <laughs> El, which is Bab El, the circle, Bab, that's why we have bubbles. What's a bubble? It's a yeah. circle. Mm -hmm. Bubble, Babel, Bible. Bab, Babel, Baal. <laughs> Here we have Taurus the bull and Orion. Right? Well, that's the, the, um, the bull is bull is Baal because it's the rock Osiris in the Bible Jesus is called the rock he's the, court, the one who came to divide the scapegoat of Israel be wise as, court, as serpents cautious as doves the serpent is here remember Rephucus carrying the serpent and the dove is the eagle the phoenix coming out of Scorpio that's Scorpio so Jesus says he looks up and sees the phoenix coming out of the center of the Milky Way galaxy and he sees a fucus with the serpent. He says, be wise as serpents and cautious as doves. Mm. He's come to judge the world. That's justice. He's the bread of life. The unicorn, the twin. Mm. Have you seen the pictures of Jesus, the twin? And in fact, it's in that temple of Justinian that I mentioned before that I forgot the name of, of which now I will show you because... I have it, don't I? There it is. Byzantine art, the twin, says, This 5th century mosaic is in the Imperial Palace at Constantinople, and it's titled Joseph with Jesus and the Geminis, literally meaning the twin. And who's the twin? Thomas. 21st of December is St. Thomas Day. <laughs> Do you go down to Hell and Tommy? 21st of December, when the sun is killed, you go down to Hell and Tommy, St. Thomas Day. Thomas is Tammuz. Tammuz. Tammuz is the one that originates the cross. Right on cue. And he's also Osiris, Saturn. It's the sun. Tammuz, Thomas is the sun, Jesus, in his other capacity. Here he is as mm. Jesus. Here he is as Thomas. That's the twin. They're twin brothers. Because uh -huh. the sun is in the middle of the solar sphere, hot, yeah. and Saturn, the lord of the rings, yeah. because he has... <coughs> he sits on the rings. Yeah. When we come into Kronos, into time, we, we will suffer the consequences of birth, growth, and decay. Yeah. But up here, we're still immortal. Yeah. Yeah. And our soul, this is, this is what makes our soul, it's a compound of these energies, yeah. the chakras. So when we come into the kingdom of Satan, he's got the rings, and he is the lord of the rings, one ring to rule them all. So that's what it means to be deceived by Satan, to be in the maya, because we're in the world. Well, there isn't, is there? Well, in the one, but in the two there is. In the two, the divided, what Russell calls, <coughs> um, it was how he describes it is that the source ether is timeless, of course, but to, in order to create these effects, he has to split and divide the balance of his electric force. Mm. And once you do that, then it sets in motion electromagnetism. Mm. And that's all there is. When you hear these scientists rambling on about their quantum physics and everything like that, I, I would point you to thunderbolts.org and see what those scientists, there's a bunch of Australian scientists, Thomas Thornhill and uh, Don, um, from, oh, there's a couple of guys in America, they work together and, and their site is about the electric universe. And they are debunking all these ridiculous things that scientists are trying to still because they're controlled by the corporations. Yeah. They're still telling people. Yeah. They're telling lies. Yeah. It's an electric universe. It's simple. It's so simple. It's, it's just electricity and magnetism. Mm. 
you know, and they, but, but they, they focus much on Newtonian gravity and everything. Gravity yeah. is just an effect, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. There's the Christ. Why is the heart sticking out? Because that's where Christ is. It's the heart chakra. They're telling you. There's a reason for us to think. The solar consciousness, the sun, is in our heart. And once we open that door, he will come in and have an evening meal with us. This is a beautiful picture. It's a mantra. It's, it's a um, mantra? It's, a, it's, a, um, it's an image. Mandala. Yeah. Mandala. Thank you. Mandala, Mandala. Yes. No, Mandala. That's the word mantra. Um, it's an image, isn't it? That's why the monotheist, the images of Egypt and the idols, because you can do real magic with images. Because images speak volumes, pictures find a thousand words. Yes. And the cross is a beautiful symbol. It tells you about the equinoxes, the summer solstice and the winter solstice. The yin and yang. A little bit of male in, in feminine, a little bit of feminine in male. And here it is, the yin and the yang. Mm. The figure eight. The figure eight comes from here. Mm. In fact, in here, this guy proves that one is here, one is, is here. That line is sitting on the equator. That's one. Aries is one. One. Two starts from the eye of the bull and goes around and sits on the equator. Three is the two twins and the third sign. Four is also here, comes from four, like this. There's the four, the fourth sign, or, or here. Can you see the fourth sign there? Yeah. There it is. Five is in there. Six is the sun sitting on the equator with its tail up, as, as opposed to uh, nine would be below it with its tail going down. Mm. Eight is the sun above and the sun below, like the Korean flag shows. Mm. So you've got one to nine, conception to birth. The alphabet, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, matter, water, mare, mare in Latin is one ocean, more than one, plural, Maria. Jesus is born of Mary. The yes comes up out of the mare. Mm. E is spirit. Spirit, matter, M. It's the middle letter of the alphabet. Mm. Now, if you want to learn more about that, that's the genius you need to read up. The esoteric structure of the alphabet. That's where I got this. Spirit and matter. Uh, Alvin Boyd Kuhn. Why do you remember all this? Because I love it. I love this <laughs> okay. subject. And that's when you love something. Yep. Your passion. What was it called? The esoteric... Yes. Esoteric what? A structure of the alphabet. A structure of the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And bubble has two Bs, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> Um, okay, these are the 22 in Kabbalah <clears throat> you have the 10 Sephiroth of the Kabbalistic tree mm -hmm. and you have the connecting paths oops I've done a mistake there. See, there's one level, two levels, three levels, four, five, six, seven. They correspond to the chakras. That's a crown chakra. They call it Kitha. Ether. Okay, that's what it is. Ether. This is feminine, Bana. This is Kokma. This is understanding. This is wisdom. In here is the 11th Sephiroth. Knowledge. Knowledge gives you understanding, feminine, and wisdom, masculine, and brings you back to the Kita. Mm -hmm. But these connecting, 
all these connecting ones. You've seen this before, haven't you? Kabbalistic tree. There's 22. 22. There's 22 paths in the 10 Sephiroth, make 32. And that is the 12 signs of the zodiac and the 10 planets, including the Earth, Neptune and Uranus. It's the 22 cards of the tarot. Yes. Well, it's all there. Let's have a look at it astrologically now, because I've done the year. I did want to read one more thing to you. 15 for minutes. You. 15 minutes, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I see what you mean. I've run out of paper. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a cut out day here. <laughs> cut out time. Circumcision's coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Can you take your microphone off this time? Yes. <laughs> Let's try and get some really juicy bits of information out real quick. April 19th. Beltane's April 19th is the last day of Aries, roughly, 20th, 21st. Beltane's Day, Beltane's Day. It's called the Day of Sacrifice by Fire. These are the events that have happened on the 19th of April. 1993, Waco, 19th mm. of April, 99 people dead. Mm. Two years later, April 19th, 1995. Oklahoma City bombing, 187 dead. Four years later, 1999, April the 20th, Columbine massacre, 13 dead. 11 years later, April 20th, 2010, BP Horizon explosion, 11 dead. 20th of March, the eve of the 21st of March, is when you start a war, because you want to fight in Cardinal Fire. Mars. Marshall Mars is ruling. So this is when you start a fight. That's when they entered Libya this year to bomb Libya on the 20th. And in 1993, George Bush started his six week mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six brings us to May the 1st. Mm. May the 1st that was the day they started the six week war they mm -hmm. finished the six and they call it the six week war because they're rubbing it in they're telling you we sacrificed the blood on that day to bail mm -hmm. yeah. and we'll do it on the days that mean something to us mm -hmm. that's when you fight in areas mm -hmm. um, stock market crash well if that's the bull mm -hmm. representing the bull market mm -hmm. Where's the bear? Opposite. Yes? Okay. Is that a bear? No. No, it's not. But the day, October, the, let's call it, it's getting a bit messy, isn't it? <laughs> when Libra hands over to Scorpio, it's around about the end of October. It's, it's, um, October. October. Uh, it's, it's around about the 21st, let's say, 22nd. But um, there's a reason. Uh, on the 19th of October, we've had two of the three world's greatest economical crashes. Okay? We've had, and the third one was on the, on the 20th of October. So, and I remember they announced it in 2007. They said, oh, look at that. 20 years to the day we've had the biggest stock market crash just like 2007 mm. um, no, 2008 was it? yeah 2008 hang on stock market crashes on October the 19th then uh, 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 which is exactly to the day of October 21 years that no, was 2007 because Black Monday was 19th of October 1987 Right here, 19th of October. Mm. How does that sit with current crashes? Because currently well, it's crashing around now. Well, June, yes, because, because yeah, it's around here. That, that millions, billions of dollars we lost in the stock market crash. 
Uh, but you will see that these guys are going to start imploding things around here after the 21st. How does that relate to October? Well, we'll see because it, there's, there's still the, the dollar still exists. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. They're not going to just destroy it. They're going to hang on to it, but they will let it go. Mm. This is where you let go. <laughs> and the 31st of October is the day before November the 1st, Halloween day, isn't it? Yeah. That's the day you want, to, you want to assassinate someone, like Indira Gandhi, mm -hmm. like River Phoenix, like the president of the Watchtower and Track Society, Charles Taze Russell, in 1912, October the 31st. Right here in the Scorpion, in the heart of the Scorpion. The 11th of the 11th. Why do we have the, such a date in history, the 11th of the 11th, on the 11th hour? Mm -hmm. That's mid Scorpia. That's absolutely middle of Scorpia. Yeah. JFK gets assassinated right here when Scorpio hands over to Sag on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, that's the, the galactic plane. It's the only day when the sun goes through the galactic plane, 27th, 7th, 2nd of November, when JFK was killed. So that's the time to end things. Good time. They want the blessing. Mm. They want the blessing of their perverted, mm. insane God. However it works, but they get their blessing from the spirit realms. I just want to show you something about astrology. There's your bovines. There's famous people you know. Yeah. See the bovine eyes? Here are the cats, the felines, the leos. Can you see some jaguars and some pussy cats in there? Pussycats. Yeah, like that would have to be a jaguar, that'd have to be a lynx, wouldn't it? <laughs> a couple of lions. Mm -hmm. Look at the look at the stubby noses. That's the cat. Stubby. Yeah, sure. mm. Mm. Have a look at the long faced Sagittarians with the beautiful teeth and smile, Jupiter, happy, the horse, the equine eyes. Have a look at the bird beaks of the Scorpios. <laughs> they all possess a beak. <laughs> they are clearly birds. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? Now that's just four examples. The book that I use with William Shride has all those examples, plus he shows their ascendant and shows how you can see the two merged into one. Madonna, she's a Leo, loves the limelight. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez loves the limelight. Mick Jagger, because they're in the light. But Madonna's got a, a gap between, that's a Virgo. Well, she's, her ascendant's Virgo. Yeah, well, you'll have some Virgo in you if you've got a gap in your teeth. It's the mutable, yeah, it's the double, it's the double signs that do that. Even Pisceans, my cousin's Pisceans, you have. Good God. Yes. These features, why? Because, God. because, as explained very, very clearly, this is why astrology works. I'm going to explain that to you, and you won't ever need to argue or, or, um, or, um, have to look around for, for, for a reason as to why it works because it absolutely works and this is how it happens. The Light of Egypt, Thomas Burgoyne, I work a lot out of this because everything virtually here that I've discussed today is pretty much covered in here. A lot of it. This is the holy science. You can get this on Amazon for 11 bucks. I would get it tomorrow and read this book. This is exquisite. Look at all the markets I've got. I mean, there's just so much information. Can you get it on tape? I could have found that cover. They had it, but not that cover. You well, this cover. is what you call, um, see, volume one is that one, and this is equally as good, in fact, better, but it's too deep to go first. Go with this one first, please. Okay. Uh, and I can show you, uh, another thing that I would get, if you're really interested in seeing how succinctly you can teach the holy science, get, um, Cicero's Scipio's Dream, The Dream of Scipio. It's about 12 pages. And in there, you will learn about the holy science and the transmigration of the soul. What is it called? So it's eight pages. Scipio's Dreams. S-C-I-P-I-O. Who puts that out? That's, that's uh, Cicero, um, Julius Caesar's buddy. Mm. Well, how old is it? Great Cicero. Chichero. How old is that? That's pretty it's 2,100 years old. Yeah. Where could you get They knew it. They knew it back then. But this book here, he explains this. And you'll, you'll remember that I, sp I spoke about this. You'll, this will bring my words back to your, your memory. Okay? Um, the shining zodiac with its myriad constellations and its perfect galaxy of starry systems derives its subtle influence 
as impressed astrologically upon the human constitution from the solar center of our solar system, mm -hmm. not the stars. Mm -hmm. Not from the stars mm -hmm. which occupy the 12 mansions of space, Aries, the fiery, Pisces, Pisces, the watery, are always there. And instead of its being an argument against astrology, it is one of the grandest truths that in all ages and in all times, Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, has been found ever the same, equally as Pisces, as well as Pisces, the last. Then he goes on to explain how this happens. How does it happen? Okay, he's claiming that, it, don't worry about the stars because they're displaced because of precession. Mm. We're going backwards, mm. right? Don't worry about that. Mm. Worry about this pattern here because Aries is always at the equator because carbon fire starts at that equinoctial radiant point when electricity manifests, okay? And starts its journey. And he says, In order to convey our meaning, let us digress for a moment and bring forth a fitting illustration. The condition of our atmosphere and the surrounding objects, vegetation, etc., have a peculiar condition and a magnetism wholly their own when surveyed exactly at sunrise. Hmm. There is a freshness and peculiar sense of buoyancy not visible at any other time. If this state could be registered by any instrument and compared with the other set periods during the day, it would offer a remarkable contrast. Two hours later, because that's where I, I, I learned that there yeah. is here mm. by reading this. Yeah. And then he says, two hours later, mm. eight to ten, there is a very different influence. And at noon, there is a wonderful contrast. The same may be said of sunset, and again at midnight. And lastly, note the difference two hours before dawn. This is the coolest period. Mm. Coolest, hottest. Mm. Of the 24 hours. These are facts, and yet our hearts are all beating to the same flow, life flow. And the earth is no farther away from the parent sun. And yet it is all the angle at which we, the inhabitants, receive this sun's light that makes all the difference between dawn and sunset, noon and midnight. When to these facts it is further added that it is sunrise, noon, sunset and midnight at the same instant, all the time to some of the various different portions of the globe, it demonstrates most conclusively that the earth itself is enveloped, so to say, in a, cir a complete circle of conditions. So when you're born, I was born around mm. here. Mm. I was born in, 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 at 4.30, mm. so right here in Virgo. Mm. So I've got some Virgo stuff happening, I know. All my accidents have been to my hands. Mercury rules the hands. I haven't had accidents to the head, I should have scars. I've got, mm. got a few Aryans have scars, because they bump their heads. <laughs> they do. They've all got scars, man, all of them. Mm. I ain't seen one without one. I've got a cross. Yeah, they've got something on their head. Yeah. But, but I've got the, the hand thing going on. I know that. And I've got an affliction. Because I've got planets here and planets here. Yeah. That's my stomach. My stomach. Yeah. Uh, a burger stomach. And I do have digestive yeah. problems and stuff. I look after that. Yeah. Watch what I eat. Yeah. And my nerves in Pisces, the feet. Oh. Uh, I've got neurasthenia. You know, like I've stuck with nerves. I've got to take bone bees and everything. Just yeah. look after it, you know. Okay. Because it's there. It's a weakness. Okay. It's there. It's in my birth chart. Yeah. So the complete condition. When you're born here, Leo, that's why they're so fiery and, and steady, because they're fixed. Sagittarians are mutable and edgy and happy and smiley because they've got Jupiter, Jove, joviality. Mm. Mars, Scorpio, sometimes a very bitter Scorpio. My brother's a Scorpio. He looks just like me. My brother's five years younger than I am. He's a Scorpio. Because mm. we've both got Mars. We both look, he looks like me. Same height, same everything. Mm. And yet my two, my brother and sister who were uh, Librans, mm. they've got the Venus Cupid head. They're round heads, we've got long heads. Mm. You look at your brothers and sisters. If you're an Aryan mm. and you've got a, a Scorpio brother or sister, they will look like you and they'll be like you because of Mars. But, but whatever, yeah. if, you, if you've got a cancer, check it out. Yeah, and, and cancer does. Mm. Yeah, we do. Well, that, that'd be the cardinal aspect okay. then. It's the cardinality, it's, it's, it's the modality. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just let me just finish off now with, with how he explains Aries, Taurus and Gemini. I'll just, I'll just go to Leo and how he explains the different shifting from electric to magnet, electric to magnet, okay? And that'll be enough. And I think that'll be a good thing to finish off on so that you can see how it's science. Yeah. And it's not spooky from the devil. What devil? Yeah, the what devil. Well, it's a fiction. <laughs> well, that's the devil. Yeah. The do evil. Yeah. The opposite of, um, you know, it's pretty obvious when you go. God, if you stretch it out, you can get a good out of that. Mm -hmm. And evil, if you put a D on there, you can get a, whoops, you can get a, a devil in there, can't you? Yeah. All right, so it's, it's just electric, electricity, mm -hmm. and magnetism. Mm -hmm. One has to resist. That wall has to resist the roof, yeah. otherwise we get to die. Yeah. It's got to, we need a resistor. This is a resistor. Mm. I wondering mean why Lucifer means light. Ah. It shouldn't be dark. Yeah, well, luce is light mm. of one kind, and lux is another kind, a spiritual light. Yeah, the lux. Like yeah, lux and luce. But that's Lucifer. Lucifer is the carrier of light and that's the rainbow that's those seven colors you've got that's lucifer and outside of that we can't see that's why he's a deceiver that's why lucy in the sky mm. yeah. with diamonds yeah. the stars they he his intent you see because saturn rules the hearing and, and the sun obviously rules the sight mm. so that's the two churches the church of jesus and the church of satan uh, the church of Jesus says, don't listen to Satan because mm. he will deceive you. But he won't because hearing sometimes is better it's than seeing. Yeah. That's why you wear Satan's earrings, the rings of Satan on your ears. Because yeah. it's telling you that he rules the ears. And you listen to the law of Satan because he's the steady lawgiver. But Peter, as I told you, is Jupiter. There's a church of Peter and the church of Paul, right? Or yeah. Jesus and Satan, Horace and Seth. Mm. Well, you, you, you robbed Peter to give to Paul, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, who's Paul? <laughs> Could he be Satan? Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible tells you. He is Saul. His name was Saul of Tarsus. Let's grab that S mm -hmm. and bring it down to here. Yeah. Let's bring that A down to here. Let's put that there, the T. Let's get the U. Let's get the R. <laughs> and the final S is basically just a trick. It's Paul is Saturn. Mm. He's got a different church to Jew Peter. Mm. But this is how tricky the Catholic Church is. They've got them all there. Mm. There's mm. Jupiter there. Mm. There's the Christ, the cross, mm. the sun, mm. the monstrance. They show the, the sun as they walk mm. around. We are Christian. Mm. That's our religion. But the Madonna's there too. That's mm. the moon. Mm. And Venus is there too. She's Mary, Mary Magdalene's the moon, sorry. Mm. Uh, uh, the Virgin is, is Isis. Mm. And she, they've got Isis all over the Vatican. So they, 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 have the, they worship the feminine side of the Elohim and the masculine. Mm. Jupiter is there. Mm. Paul, St. Paul, because it's the Saturn church, the Latin church of Saturn. Mm. Okay? So they're, they're, that is a truly a universal church. Mm. But it's operating on the religious theological side, which is morals, dogma, and ignorance and fear and superstition, yes. which is the counterfeit of what we're doing. Yes. That we're doing what we should be doing. Yes. And other people are happy to say, oh no, my priest doesn't agree with that. I listen to him. Yes. Well, if he's going to hell, you'll be... <laughs> and yes, hell, that's right. We know what hell is. <laughs> if you, it means not getting there. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. That's what it means about when I said the, har the harvest time that's coming up yes. now. Yes. Because the last ones are us. We're not going, no. We're going to be saved. We're not doing that. Because we're beyond that. But the Christians are doing it. And Jehovah's Witnesses hate the Mormons. And the Mormons hate the, uh, the, the, the Presbyterians and the Methodists don't agree with the Catholics. They're all fighting and fighting. And they're all first. Oh, no, we're first. We're Catholics. No way. I'm first. I'm Methodist. Methodist has got to be a true religion. They will be last. So, so which is... Uh, Just quickly then. Uh, Aries, if we, we apply the foregoing illustration to the 12 signs of the zodiac, we shall see a perfect analogy. We shall find that when the sun reaches the celestial equator, so that it is equal day and equal night on the earth, and he is on the line of the celestial horizon, it is cosmic sunrise. Hence Aries, the fiery Azoth, begins his activity. Influx, 
and extends for 30 degrees, equal of two hours of the natal, natural day. It is the fiery red streams of awakening life that we all manifest at sunrise. Then comes a change of magnetic polarity after the first fiery flush of cosmic life. The gleeful chattering of the birds and the crackling of the poultry, cackling of the poultry. A um, reaction is noted. All things before active become restful and quiet. Taurus. Let's watch the dark sign. Dark, dark. This corresponds with the sign of Taurus. It is the solar influx 30 degrees removed from the point of equilibrium toward the north. That's the point of equi equilibrium. As this sign represents the powers of absorption, we see that at this period, vegetable and animal life is quietly absorbing for its own use the fiery streams of solar life. Again, we view the activity of solar influx from a different angle and change of polarity and all things become active in its executive force. This corresponds to the sign of Gemini. As the solar influx 60 degrees removed from, this point of, from, from his point of equilibrium, then comes another change of magnetic polarity. It is rest from labour. It is noon. It corresponds to cancer. The analogy is perfect. It is the solar influx 90 degrees removed from its point of equilibrium, and so on, so forth. So what he's saying is that everything is central to the solar system, and it makes sense. The angle of the photons coming to us is the angle of the, that characteristic type of energy which flows to us. That's why we see red when the sun sets, because it the light has to travel through the horizon more than when it's up above. And uh, we shall close it off. Right. Right.